right now. Hello and welcome everyone. Thank you so much for joining us. Again, we couldn't do these weeks without you. And every brand does definitely tell a story. Let's create a brand new story today and of course um, help you to create your own brand and your own vision for the future. And together we truly do fly. We can fly higher together than we can alone. That's for sure. And I've realized this a lot lately actually and things are definitely taking off at full speed ahead. I'm Melanie, I'm going to be your hostess and I run this webinar every single Thursday night at 7 p.m. sharp Pacific Standard Time. And it is a global platform so we never really know who's going to show up. And sometimes we have very special guests showing up like Sam who just graced us with his beautiful presence and so I'm going to run through these slides. This is going to take about five minutes for me to get through these. And then after we have ran through the slides, what we do is we do a live interactive portion of this webinar series where people come together as a community and you can talk about a project you're working on. You can let us know how we can assist you. Um, we are all about serving people and the planet and of course having prosperity together. So it's amazing that we are coming together each and every week to have this kind of energy. And we are really about giving back and supporting entrepreneurs um, through our community. And it's literally going back to the old, old way of life, which is people helping people. And we all know that you know, it's, um, it's easy to run alone and it's, it's definitely hard to definitely climb Mount, Mount Everest by yourself. So. We're um, reaching hands out and helping people and bringing a lot of really amazing um, energies and synergies together. And this is a global platform and we're bringing um, people on that actually lead in the following industries. So we cover off these different industries, health and wellness, personal growth and development, environment, financial, real estate, and humanity. It was charity, but we changed it to humanity because under humanity, we can have charity. And charity could be anything. It could be giving back to helping children. Hi, Jay. Giving back to helping children. And it can also be giving back to a specific cause. And I've always been a huge fan of reality charity. So with charities, what happens is people give money to a charity, but we don't see that money make the change. Whereas if we have a topic like humanity that we're talking about, um, we can actually show the changes taking place in, our, in people's lives every single week. So we are actually more than just a, a marketing company. We're actually a platform for positive world change. And we're looking for collaborator, collaborators each and every week because my soul cries for creation and collaboration and co-creating and helping people to manifest and to um, remove those blocks that are holding you back from reaching your full potential. And so we're looking always for leaders and thank you so much for everyone that's already joined us. We have a lot of people coming on the show tonight. I'm so grateful that you're all here. Jay and Krista, we have Beatrix on for the first time tonight. We have Sam Love in the house. Um, we have Caleb and his beautiful energy that's always here and um, like clockwork. And if you have other people that are coming on, just get them to sign in. It's really easy. The Zoom ID is my cell phone number and it's always going to be that way. It was kind of a marketing tactic, but it's so that people always know how to get into this um, Zoom call every single week. So every single week, the community always will evolve and it will always change with new leaders coming into this platform every single week. However, the one premise that will be the same is this here, and I hope everyone can see my slide. We will always be honing in on health and wellness, personal growth and development, environment, um, financials, real estate, and the, huma and the humanity concept, which of course charity can fall under there. And this is going to be the platform that we use. Um, and hopefully everyone can see my screen. I'm just gonna check the chat here because I see that people are messaging. If, if someone can just raise their hand, as long as you can see my screen, I'm good to go. Just give me a thumbs up if you can see the, the presentation, perfect. 
Um, so we have lots of people joining us tonight. I'm so excited Esther Lita came on. Wow, it's such an honor to have you here with us. You're a powerhouse female leader and for positive change. And this is definitely um, an empowerment movement that we have going on. And I don't know what's happening with me, but I'm attracting all these amazing souls and they're just coming. Like they're coming and we're forming this beautiful recipe and this beautiful soup mix and it, it just keeps getting better. We're adding different flavors every single week. So I'm excited to see how it's going to unravel and how it's going to unfold for all of us here. So amazing experts. And one of the components that we've actually recently added is um, to bring on amazing experts talking about health and wellness, talking about healthy eating, talking about um, organic eating, diet supplements, mental health initiatives, subconscious programming, and um, also just really honing in on these areas. Now, we also have personal growth and development, business coaching, personal coaching, reprogramming, positive thinking, collaboration and creation, which you know I'm all about, and environment. So that could be hemp, less consumptions, carbon energy, sustainable electric cars, and it could be ocean cleanup initiatives. It could be um, something like you know, creating these beautiful meals on the farm and then delivering them to people at their house so they can enjoy the foods that the people on the farm are eating and they can be delivered in electric cars. So these are just some of our initiatives. I've gone through the slides quite quickly for newcomers. Colleen, welcome. Jillian, welcome. Kathleen, welcome. Sam, of course, welcome. And we also have Patrice, who is an intricate part of all of this because he actually helped me with all of the marketing materials for everything it is that we're doing. Our YouTube channels, our YouTube channel is taking off and our presentation that we have here is one that everybody can be part of because we're looking for leaders in all of these different walks of life. And don't worry, this call is recorded for folks that may have missed the beginning part. It's also gonna be put onto the YouTube channel this evening, so you haven't missed a beat. Um, I have gone over a few slides already. I've gone over health and wellness. I've gone over also personal growth and development. So for folks that just came on, you've missed those slides, but don't worry. You can always go back on and go onto our YouTube for anyone that has missed any of these pages. But the goal is tonight is rather than me spend all my time talking about all of this magical stuff that's been created here this week. I want to hear from you and I want to welcome everyone tonight to share, interact, get social. This is a good hour that we have here booked. And if folks want to speak on any of the topics that I've just touched on, you're absolutely more than welcome to. We also have finances and I am going to give a disclaimer just because when you're dealing with monies and you're in the money management um, industry or field, it's always good to let people know that I do not have a financial background. I cannot give you any advice on investing whatsoever. I cannot sell you anything to do with finances or take any sort of payment from you. But what I can do is I can give you my personal story of my history on investments over the last few years of my life, the good, the bad, and the ugly. There's a lot of people on here that like to share their stories about investments and what's worked, what hasn't worked, what's good, what they're looking at now. And we all have these things that we've come across that are good. And this is a platform where you can share those stories with one another. And um, for the greater good of just giving people education and knowledge, because I love this sector. I love learning about digital currency. I love learning about creating passive income. I love learning about multiple streams of income that you can create from your home. And especially right now, because we are in definitely uh, interesting times on the planet to say the least. I'm going to just ask everybody if they can come to you. So back the point up. is, make sure that you don't dedicate your life to something where no, you No, if you make me co-host, I will manage this. Yeah. I'm not so sure. it doesn't yeah. matter if that team board happens to be the healthiest one that all my friends tell me is actually the best product in network marketing for health products. What's that? What is that background noise? 
I go with what she says because she knows Melanie muted everyone. And she also, uh, you know, is approached by every single company regularly to try to get her to fly in to yeah. join their business. Yeah, like Wendy in the background. But she doesn't. Why? Because Wendy she, Joe. Yeah, and Robert. Yeah, I'm going to actually have to ask you all to mute your volume, please. Melanie, if you want, make me co host. I will manage I have that for already. you. Oh, have you actually? I'm going to have to edit this video now. I'm not happy about that, but that's okay. We'll keep rolling. No worries. Okay. Start fresh. <laughs> it's all Disclaimer, good. I don't have a financial background, so I can't provide. You know what? I'm going to just start this whole thing all over again. Unless <laughs> we, we just go, because I'm, I'm now disrupted. The flow is disrupted. I don't know what that was or what that background noise was, but it's just disrupted my flow. It's very annoying. Take two. I'm going to keep, take a deep breath. Yeah. And I'm going to say thank you so much to everyone for hanging in with me. I'm going to edit this video, so I'll have someone edit it tonight. It's so all good, Melanie. Good. I will okay. manage everything. <laughs> yeah. I'll manage the sound and the entry of people while you're uh, speaking. So. Go ahead. Do your I've been stuff. going right since I've been going right since um, seven o'clock. So for folks that came on just after seven, they actually missed the beginning of the PowerPoint presentation. But that's okay. This is all recorded. What we need to do is I need to figure out how to just mute everybody right from the beginning of time, and so that we don't have these hiccups. But thanks for your patience, everyone. And I'm so sorry that had to happen. Now on to the next slide: <laughs> real estate. So it can be anything to do with sustainable buildings, farming projects, lo local housing, overseas real estate, industry updates, organic farm initiative, and investing with zero down. So no one actually taught me in my life that how to invest in a real estate property. I had to become educated on all of this stuff alone because unfortunately, a lot of these things were not taught in school. Like when you go to school and you get an education, they don't teach you how to be an entrepreneur. They don't teach you how to create multiple streams of income. They don't teach you what passive income is. They don't teach you how to invest with zero money down. These are things that you can learn on our webinars and our podcasts. And there's a lot of people are on here right now that are really in, interested in getting into a organic farm initiative. And that means buying a little house on a farm, but buying a large piece of land and then each person has a home on that farm space. And I was actually just at a farm space last week in border town Langley, where this actually was existing. There's six houses on the farm. They make these organic meals, and, but they don't do delivery. So I thought, hmm, we could deliver these meals to people to their homes in electric cars. It's just an idea, but through every idea that something stems. And what we've noticed is that since we've, been on this journey together that a lot of amazing things have been happening and at light speed like we have investors phoning we have um collaborative partners calling we have people i was on had somebody on the phone this morning with patrice and i saying i want to potentially invest a million dollars where should i put my money should i put it into a, an investment fund or what projects are you guys working on i want to see what you guys can you guys do some business plans can you and patrice has been intricate He's been helping me with the business plans, with all the marketing materials, with all the logos. So Patrice, I love you dearly. And I truly do appreciate every single thing you do for every single person on this team. You're amazing. And I'm so incredibly grateful to you. And I also love Jay and she's on here with her beautiful children. And I know it's hard for her to come onto these calls, but she's also been an extremely amazing role model in my life. So I just want to say thank you again for everyone that's been showing up. But this is really about humanity and this there's a conscious shift that's happening in this world right now and we're all part of it and that's why we've we've calibrated our vibration to be together tonight through frequency and there's a special man that's on this call tonight sam who knows so much about this and he's so incredibly talented and he came on he phoned me just before the the call was going to start actually a few like an hour before and i was like wow i'm like he's coming on i'm so grateful because i've always been waiting for all of these different stars to align because i really believe that there's something magical that's taking place here and it's because we all want to see positive change in the world we all want to give back we're not just takers 
we are actually reality giving right now just by even existing on this call because of our vibration we're able to come through and connect with one another in this call right now and actually go live and actually make these beautiful connections with people because we know that we can't do life alone and we're all powerful spirits i bet you every single person on this call is an entrepreneur in some facet of their life they're taking charge they're leading something they're they're owning their leadership power and when these leaders come on together in this forum and they come on and we are together as a powerhouse supporting one another each and every single week that is when the magic happens and tonight we have completely different people than we've had on last week we have a completely different person and what i always say is whoever is supposed to be on these calls with us every week is going to be on these calls with us each and every week and i know every single one of you is going to get something out of this and we are going to start connecting soon and i'm almost finished with these slides but i just want to take the time to say that this is a collaboration model it is not a one-sided model where one person wins and another person gets left behind this is more of a model where at the end of each call we ask you specifically how can the community support you what inspired you to come on here today what area of the topic that we've discussed earlier in the show do you want to lead in i want all of us to take charge and grow this we have this opportunity right now in this time space reality to co-create and to make magical things in this world take place and you know whether it's hemp whether it's um getting rid of plastic getting more trees planted, being on the farm, growing those fruits and vegetables, making those recipes, creating those supplements, giving the personal growth and development, showing up as leaders, as personal growth and development coaches, um, as marketers, as digital marketers. All of us have a place in this world, but what we realize is that we all have to stay in our lane. And right now, this is my lane. The marketing space, and same with Patrice, we, we are so into this marketing space and we love it with the branding and the marketing and the advertising and creating your N identity and your strategy and your logos and your trust and your value and your designs and really honing in on this formula. And it's beautiful and we can help every single person on here with all of this, which is our gift and our giving back to serve you and where we may be strong in one area. And I'm just gonna say, that I know that I need lots of healing because I've always been an overachiever. I'm a go-getter. I'm always going full throttle. <laughs> I'm in like hyper overdrive. I'm like, I'm going for it. And I've got that car and I'm, and I see that destination and I'm, I'm taking up stride and I'm on that car and everyone that I want out that car is coming with me. And here we go. We're all in the bus. We've got this big boat and we're rowing the boat. We've all got our seat on the boat. The paddles are moving and, and all this magical energy is going. And we're like, all aboard, let's go. But I'm like, ah, I'm like this engine and the engine needs fuel, it needs oil, it needs water, it needs to have its, um, what do you say, spark plugs replaced. <laughs> it needs to go in for a tune up now and then. So all of you folks can help me with that. And those, there's lots of healers on here, there's lots of coaches on here, there's massage therapists on here, there's natural um, healers on here, there's people that have, been studying new technology there's nutritionists on here and we wear different hats like as entrepreneurs we've got to be all of these different things we've got to be in the know in all of these different areas but it doesn't mean that we have to lead in that area it means that we can let other people lead where they want to lead but we're all here here to succeed and to achieve so that's pretty much it in summing up what i wanted to say for the night and um some of the creative designs, but basically we're all in our own movie. And right now I literally feel like we're in the matrix and it's like, do you want the blue pill, the red pill, the blue pill, the red pill? I'm like, I'm just gonna take them both and just see what happens. <laughs> Cause I'm like, you know, it's, um, it's one of those times where we're in unforeseen times for the future. And the more we can surround ourselves with positive minds, create that mastermind alliance, create that, that picture of who you wanna surround yourself with, 
who are the thinkers, the doers, the dreamers, the achievers, the, the action takers, the seekers, because we need all of us, like all of us have our place in this world, right? So it's really important to dial yourself into positive energy, get around positive people, get around people that inspire get you, get around people where they may be very strong in an area that you're weak in, plug into them, take a little bit of their strengths and give them a little bit of your strengths and let's balance one another out let's create that magic formula and it's it's here the formula is here i can feel it and um, one of my inspirations has been of course bob proctor i am a bob proctor certified graduate actually have my diploma right here and this is worth to me more than my diploma at um i won't say it's worth more to me but it's it's definitely worth the world to me i have two other diplomas one in business development and one in marketing management and other than typing 80 words per minute the business diploma has been good in a few other ways too but bob proctor taught me one thing that that education in our regular school system um doesn't teach us and that is to really focus on our thoughts our mind because it's almost like a spider web and it's if you get caught in that spider web it, it's hard to get out of it if you have negative thoughts. So you have to make sure that always your thoughts are positive on positive things, on moving forward and creating a future self because we all have that light. We wanna have that light in us. We wanna shine and we wanna resonate with other people that give us a, an opportunity and a platform where you can because it's, um, it's rare to find these platforms. And I wasn't finding one that I really truly resonate with. So what I did was I thought, I'm just going to create one and whoever is meant to be here is going to be here and it's going to grow and we're going to have, we're going to have success. And I, I just wrote down that goal and I just, I actually wrote the goal down this morning because I, I, I do wake up every morning in deep gratitude. Then I go into um, my why I go into thanking people that have been with me on my journey. I go into prayer for people that have been around me lately that have made a difference in my life. I reach out to them. I phone people that I haven't spoken to for a very long time. I make sure that people are always feeling appreciated and cared for. And also I always like have this end goal of seeing everybody, everybody's projects come to fruition. Like Caleb has an amazing energy project, which is going to help this whole planet by reducing the amount of, of energy and it's a natural energy that he's invented. So I wanna to see to it that he gets an investor and we're making that happen for him right now. He's been a regular viewer on the show. Um, you know, folks like Wendy, who's been a supporter right since day one, she's got some great environmental initiatives. I'd love to see her find an invest, investor and have great success online with that platform and, and other platforms. Even with Patrice, he's like, he's like how do you say it, unkept secret? <laughs> Um, he's a kept secret, okay? <laughs> because a lot of people don't really know about how much intelligence he's holding. And, and I'm trying to light these fires and people to say like the time is now, like the world needs this and we want this. There's other people on here that are, um, and not that money means anything because money is just energy and we know that, but there are some super successful people on this call tonight that are, extremely wealthy and they've made their own wealth and they're humble about it and they're kind and they want to give back and they want to make a difference and they're people that actually lead in the financial space um, in these different spaces and we want to hear from you tonight is all about you and so what i'm going to do is i'm going to actually stop my share right now and we're going to actually go and I'm, i'll finish the slides again later but we're going to go into a method where we actually invite people to share and what we want to do is we want to have everyone have a place on this podcast where they can speak every week and have more time to speak. And it's 722. So I've been talking for a long time. And now what I want to do is open up the room and we um, would love to have you all as guest speakers. Uh, anytime you want to be a guest speaker on our webinar series, we want you book with me one-on-one. -on -one. The Zoom ID is my cell phone number. If you love what you've experienced here and you want more of this and you want to figure out how to take this to the next level, I'm always open to brainstorming with you. And so is Patrice and so is Sam and so is Jay and so is um, all of like, like pretty much all of the leaders on here that we have here tonight. And Jillian came on, she found us through Kathleen and Kathleen is on here. I didn't see you, so I didn't know you were. And Captain Neil, 
whoa, all aboard. Um, this is a magical surprise. Um, so just want to acknowledge every single person on here and Colleen and all of you have made a major impact on my life in such a short period of time and have made a difference. And I just want to let you know how special you are. And um, definitely Neil, because Neil taught me actually how to own my own strengths and like put together these series where I can bring people together. And that's my gift is bringing people together and making people feel like they can belong somewhere and creating something really magnificent. And we've had massive success with this platform in such a short period of time. It's success that all of us are experiencing right now. I love the hat, Neil. It's making me chuckle because <laughs> I do have a Captain Pilot hat too. Um, but yeah, it's just amazing. So I'm going to let Patrice chime in now here. And then I definitely want Sam to speak. I don't know how to keep track of all these amazing souls that have joined us. Esther, Lita too. It's so great to have you in the house. What I think we'll do is go in, so I'm not picking favorites, just go in order of put your name in the chat if you want to talk about a specific topic that we have touched on tonight. Just type your name in the chat or even put your hand up and we will definitely welcome you with open arms as a guest speaker. I know Patrice is uh, waiting to go next and then maybe we can go to Sam Love because I know he would love to talk about um, his frequency that he's discovered that we're all frequencies and we're coming together right now because we're vibing at a very high frequency. So Patrice, is there anything that you wanted to add? <laughs> and please uh, take this away. Absolutely. Melanie, you just did a great intro there, a great presentation. And uh, it's nice to see all these people on the call tonight. The mission is, is really how can we unite people for a greater future? Um, a lot of us are seeking right now we're looking to see what is going on in the world and connecting this way opens up opportunities and opens you up to different kinds of knowledges that you never knew before or at least people that can help you on your journey and this is the most wonderful thing about these kind of calls is the networking that can happen and from here there stems fruitful outcomes to our greatest desires so i uh, i cannot express my gratitude to Melanie for enough for all the work that she's putting to get these people together and build this network because since the world went upside down all of us can relate in many different ways this is a means for us to really start to see what the general population and people really want to have in the world with just a small amount of people the dreams come out and a better future exists for us and we need to build it. Take that first step forward. And I'm really glad to see all of you on here. And I know there's other people that wanna speak. Um, my background is in graphic communications and printing. So graphic design and printing. My second uh, career, which has been taught over the years has been uh, life coaching and nutritional healing. These are my specialties. And everyone here has incredible specialties and gifts that have been given. And this is the venue for you to express yourself because no matter what, you're going to tap into somebody else's consciousness and you never know what kind of business opportunities or friendships or future opportunities and goals can outcome from meetings like this, even though they're virtual. I much prefer face to face, but you know what? This is the second best option that exists and I'm glad you're here. Who wants to go next? If there is anybody, you can unmute. Okay, so Colleen. By all means, Colleen, I'd love to hear what you have to say. Thank you. Hi, everybody. Hi, I'm Colleen Linnea. Thank you so much. Hi, <laughs> Colleen. Hi, everybody. I'm, I'm a newbie. Hello. Hello and welcome. A high vibe newbie. I'm the high vibe girl that loves to go in for loans very easily and, and get to climb back out and show others how to do that. <laughs> um, uh, thank you so much. Um, this is very spontaneous. I just happen to be available to do this. Melanie and I have connected a couple of times and she randomly, never, nothing's at random, but she invited me to the platform. And uh, so who am I? Why the heck am I here? Well, I'm here to learn. Um, I'm Colleen Winnie. I'm, where do I live? I'm in North Vancouver, British Columbia, just in case anybody's wherever part of the world you guys are in. Can't wait to meet some of you. And um, I really have been working on tapping into what I say my genius, like helping people clarify theirs. 
And so one of the things uh, that I would love to share with you and ask for your support, your, you know, um, free, feel free to connect with me and ask me more questions outside of this platform, but I am bringing, and this is my journey, I'm bringing 20 years approximately of, you know, in-person work, very deep transformative stuff, you know, helping people unblock the blocks um, through body work, energy work, and all that great stuff that we have a lot of healers here, I can see. And mm -hmm. I've recently brought together um, through trial and error and uh, tapping into what people's needs are on the planet, a new program. And I'm looking to spread the word for inviting conversations um, to heart centered spiritual seekers, you know, uh, I say women in general are leaning in <clears throat> a little bit more. And it's for this program that I have, which is really uh, called Crystallize Your Vision to support people in transforming pain that we've held inside and self doubt and tap into our intuition and our, you know, our emotional brilliance. And it's, it's, um, it's delivered live at this point and, and in the future, I can feel it's something that I finally, after 20 years of network marketing and health and wellness, um, my journey of losing many loved ones over 25 years, if anyone can relate, you know, when you lose and lose and lose what feels like loss, it really gets to you. And um, when you fought your addictions and your eating disorders and, you know, abuse and all these things we do to stuff the feelings down, it's going to come up as we know what we suppress, you know, it's what we repress, it's going to fly up. So I really am here to grow as a person, here to, to meet all of you, find out what you guys are doing, these different rhythms, and let you know that I'm a light and um, I'm a real person who's living in our, our, uh, our, our, uh, our shelves and I get to feel all this stuff and I get to guide people in tapping into their intuition and their spiritual cheerleaders um, even deeper than maybe they've ever been before. So I just want to thank you for that space and uh, however I can connect with each of you guys, I'd love to welcome a couple of conversations outside of this platform so I can get to know you and give you give back to you as well. Thank you so much Colleen for joining us and yes we did have a very spontaneous chat and I do believe that there's no mistakes in life because um, this lovely woman, Colleen, was actually sent to me from Callie, who is one of my mentors and actually one of my, my life coaches that I've had in my time. I think of her like a big sister and I love her to bits. She actually lived in Hawaii for a long period of time and is a magical manifester and creator of her world. Um, survived also near death experiences like a lot of us have and was really given a second chance at life and really made the most of it and still is making the most of it she's an amazing soul for those that you don't know that callie she's going to come on probably next week or the week after and i just want to acknowledge that krista and richard have also joined us so welcome you both are fantastic and folks you may have missed the beginning portion of this presentation but don't worry i've recorded it and you know what i'm not even going to edit it because sometimes being real and raw is good. We had a little bit of a bleep with the speakers, but um, we're keeping it real. And because we're keeping it real, we're allowed to create a platform where we don't have to put on a raccoon mask. We can literally show up, be ourselves, be who we are in this world and let the magic unfold because it is literally flowing right now. I can feel it and it's a gift. So if you do want to um, plug in, and go next, what I would love is for people to put their names in the chat, put a high five up. If somebody has something to say, I need to see hands going up. We want leaders in different, different topics. We had quite a few topics that we shared in a previous slide and I'm happy to go through those PowerPoint slides again if you so wish for me to do that. Um, but we wanna like, we wanna basically take the lead in many different areas of, of life and for folks that may have missed the beginning part of, part of the PowerPoint presentation, I don't want to go through it all again. Um, I'm not sure what we should do. I mean, we should keep it probably open mic, but we can just keep, keep this flow going. Like, I want to know um, who should go next. I know Sam came on. He wanted to talk about frequencies. We have Caleb that wants to go next. He has oh, Caleb wants to go next? Okay, by all means, please do, Caleb. Sorry, I didn't see you. It's okay, I got you oh. back. No worries. 
a lot of you guys know me so to the newer ones um, nice to meet you all is that like me Patrice and several others will work very hard on a few different projects here and there and we're all about our security and sustainability so what we've actually done in our projects is to Lou and many others have actually been helping us get started is that to allow uh, uh, individuals living off grid or ones that are even less living in the city to drop their living costs or you know even drop their costs their businesses helping you know growing for hydroponics you name it and so you know we started and it's just fun you know trying new things seeing what sticks and i think all of you guys like try something see what works improve it and when you do that to life you'll truly enjoy it and uh you know i've been very benefit to meet all of you guys and it's amazing you know when i first met patrice and you know that he actually helped me get my life together and actually have health <laughs> and um because of that you know that we will start that journey he had an amazing idea of a wind turbine and we just kept adding to it so we started with a hydroelectric turbine and then added a uh, wind turbine to the mix and so you know we're about you know um energy sustainability including thermal generation as well and so you know it's cool just meeting everyone and working with everyone it's truly amazing Thanks what so. i love about uh, caleb's thoughts and so on when we brainstorm is that we are able to um look at different aspects of things because it takes multiple minds together to really come up with innovative solutions and between the two of us literally you can turn what would be wasted energy into net gains and it's really starting from the grassroots movement with ingenuity and innovation and honestly that's one thing over the last 16 years is that it's really important to get right down to the ground floor and listen to ideas and work with the ideas and innovate them and sponsor those instead of the mainstream media and big organizations because really true innovation and changes in the world start with small steps and small people and they expand look at elon musk perfect example and so many different things exactly like melanie's uh, describing right now and uh, caleb is an absolute genius and if you ever get a chance to listen to him on a presentation about the things that he has to offer and the brainstorming we've been doing i think it's pretty inspiring and i think most people in their hearts want to head in this direction anyways after experiencing what's going on in the world in the last few years and it really is a type of regeneration of the world. Uh, and it's, we all have to take part in that. Who and, wants to go next? <laughs> um, yeah, exactly. And thank you, Patrice, for that. And Patrice has been a leader, not only in the nutritional space, but also in the marketing space. And we just love you to bits, Patrice. You have helped this entire team with all of their marketing materials. And Stephanie as well, she's coming on and sharing her um, story of how she survived. and. You know, we're all on here surviving and I'm just going to applaud you and applaud Caleb and Caleb's brilliant. Like he's like, like, he's like the future Elon Musk. And, you know, I want to see something really amazing happen here. I want to see us all living on this amazing farmland. All of us have our own houses. We have access to these organic foods. We're growing organic foods. We're eating sustainable from our garden. We're delivering these meals to people in electric vehicles to their homes and we're creating these yummy, delicious foods. We've got our own healing center on this beautiful ranch. We have our own winery. Like it's time to go big, right? Like we've got to dream big. We have to take action. Yes, applied action. We've got to go big. We've got to really get into that energy of like, what do you want out of life? Like I literally wrote myself a check for a million dollars plus a hundred thousand dollars passive income every month. It's not a lot. But I could get by on 100k a month. I mean, most people could. Um, but the funniest thing is magical things have been happening. We actually have found some investors that are looking at Caleb's project. It's a miracle. And it's all because of this platform. Plus, we've actually helped a lot of people on here get clients, um, new business, and it's picking up. We've given people ways that they can make money from home. And I know all of you have a few different opportunities that you're dialed into and we want to definitely hear about what all of those are and um for folks that missed the previous the slide that i did right in the beginning we want to excuse me focus on six areas so it's health and wellness personal growth and development financial real estate 
And we also want to focus on the environment because without the environment of Mother Earth and taking care of this beautiful planet, how can we all live to be 125 or 150? Or as they figure out the code, which I know Richard has figured out the code. Richard, welcome, by the way. Um, Richard's figured out the code to anti-aging. He's got this amazing technology that he wants to share with us. So what we all want to do is we want to have every single person leading in a different space so that you can, if you have knowledge to share with us, we want to hear it. We want to be part of it. We want to have you do presentations. We know that this social interaction has been working over the last few weeks, so we have been keeping that flow going, but we, we're evolving. We're, we're growing and, and we actually have a few different really good um, opportunities and I don't have an investment background, so I can't give anybody advice on investing. I can tell you my stories. I can tell you the good, bad, and the ugly. And I'm happy to share those stories with you over coffee or on Zoom one-on-one. -on -one. And other people are welcome to the same because you know we like to hear from people that have had trials and tribulations or who have invested in real estate. I mean, I didn't grow up in a very, uh, in a extremely wealthy background. And in fact, I actually came from, and if you can believe it, after my father took my mother and my wealth away, I actually came from poverty times with my mom. We were living in places where there was cockroaches and it was scary because it was like, I didn't know what we were gonna eat. And I saw my mom struggle and I, was, I came from a single mom and I had the best mother in the world, even though she was poor, when my father took our wealth away, she had a heart of gold. And I'm so incredibly grateful for my mother because she created me and because she taught me really good values and principles. And you can't, that's something that money just can't buy. And I'm so incredibly grateful because of these values and principles that I've been able to do well in life and that I've been able to um, take myself to the next level because I looked at my old life when I was a kid and I was like, I can't live like this. I want to live in a nice house. I want chandeliers. I want nice food in my fridge and I want salmon because I love salmon. I've always liked fish. And I want, like, I like to eat healthy foods and organic foods and I like to yes, drink nice wine and have nice clothes. And, and I don't have to have the best of everything. In fact, I still drive a 2014 Toyota because I haven't figured out what car I'm gonna buy next. But I'm not running out to buy a brand new car because for me, things like this is more important to me. I'm all about personal growth and development, positive world change, making a difference in the world, giving back, helping others, helping people get to the next life, sharing knowledge so that it can benefit each other's lives. If somebody's weak in one area, help them get stronger. If you have strength in an area, share your leadership skills to give back. And you never know what kind of difference it can make for somebody's life and phoning people and getting them on these calls. Your one call could be somebody's saving grace. And I just seen that Sam actually has to leave the call fairly soon. I don't know who had their hands up to go next, but I'm definitely gonna welcome him to go because, and also Esther Lita, because I know he has to log off. Um, and I don't know who was first, Sam or Esther Lita, I'm just looking in the chat. And I don't wanna pick favorites, I hate this part of it. But oh, this, is this is open for all of us. I mean, it's good to express ourselves and let people know exactly. what they're about. For sure. Um, so Sam, because you have to go in 20 minutes, please go ahead and then we can have Estralita, and thank you Estralita for typing your message in the chat and offering to go after Sam. So Sam, I know you're big on energy, you're big on frequency, you love these, love this um, environment and we're so grateful to have you here. I'm finally glad that you showed up for one of these webinars because obviously there was something about this one that piqued your interest. So welcome Sam and I've been willing, waiting to connect, have you connect with a lot of the people that have on, been on here for quite some time. So it's great to have your presence with us. And well, thank you, Melanie. Yes, of appreciate course. that. And I do recognize a few of the names in here. There's some pending uh, invites and open chats we've started. So I look forward to connecting to those of you whom I haven't yet. Um, Melanie, thanks for the invite. You uh, you hit the head of the nail. I've been uh, Zoom. What, what would be the word? Uh, avoidant uh, for the most part, which is which is an odd thing, especially during COVID, um, where everyone is gravitated towards Zoom and other. Um, video chats. I'm actually uh, just next to what we what we could call uh, base camp, which is an ironic way to describe the uh, 
the um, uh, the chapter uh, that I'm personally experiencing at this point in time, which is which is interesting. Um, so Basecamp is is the place where you go to gear up. Okay, it's where you set up camp to begin the ascent. Right, and I'm sure that a lot of people can uh, can resonate with this or find similarity in it that uh, this last year and a half has been a very interesting time. 2020 was, I would say, the year of clear vision. 2021 is how do we use that clear vision, turn it into something. So I don't know where you want me to go with this, but um, Melanie and I were just having a conversation uh, about an hour and a half ago, give or take. And, uh, and she, uh, she says, hey, do you want to come and share, share your insights in regards to frequency? And, and, uh, and yeah, so I mean, here's the question. What do you want to know? I usually have to uh, start with a question um, because uh, this is more about helping than just me blabbering on, which you know, I'm sure all of us on this call, and you know who you are, can do. We can all blabber on and on and on, but how do you want me to uh, spend the next, you know, four or five minutes? Um, but Sam, earlier on, you touched yeah. on a subject yeah. that was really amazing. Actually, I couldn't have, I couldn't ever share this information to anyone because we had one of those moments where it was like, aha, this is what's been happening. So we're all on a frequency. And Patrice Witt and I were mm. talking about this okay. very earlier. So when we're, and I want you to touch on this because you know a lot about it. When the frequency that we're on, it's like a radio station. So right. right now we're all on the same radio station, but if you turn it to AM mm. 700, it's going to be fuzzy. So a lot, a lot of what's been happening with um, humanity is we've been on those fuzzy radio stations because we've been. It's like a hard drive that you take. Say, they, say your brain is like a computer. You've had a hard drive that's been programmed one way. All you got to do is take out the old hard drive, put in the new hard drive. But it's something about picking up on frequencies. And we're talking about what we're attracting in now and why we're attracting it. Sam, you really knew a lot about this earlier on the phone, why that was happening. So maybe if you could go into that. Okay. I think I know how, how to begin this. So, and this is all just, just as, a, as an insight. This is pre um, me going public with this information. So that's, that's part of the, the public um, data dump that will happen in the next six to eight months. So um, just a little bit of background so you understand who I am. I was uh, born, obviously, and had this keen sense of what others were, were feeling, we'll say. Um, I, I saw everything in terms of frequency, and it actually started because of a trauma. So I went to school. I was four years old, went to preschool, and uh, and I was dropped off. Um, and there was there was a situation where where my dad left, and that created a uh, this traumatic experience where my sixth sense essentially turned on and then stayed on for the duration of my schooling period. So I was overwhelmed with information, and out of necessity, I had to learn how to differ differentiate myself, my own frequency from others' frequency, which seems like a very, very simple thing to do. Like, what's your favorite food, right? What's your favorite music? Uh, what, what do you like to do on, you know, on Sunday nights, right? These were things that I didn't understand because I was living in this soup and everything was me, right? So just imagine walking out and not knowing what your favorite anything is having to sort between this mass of the radio stations, um, the frequencies constantly flying around us. Imagine if you were attuned to all of that and you had to sort through that. So that was kind of my childhood, um, except the radio frequencies were all the people around broadcasting their thoughts and feelings. So it was, uh, it was a very overwhelming time. So it was, it was out of necessity that I found what could be called my greatest gift. And today in business, which is an interesting, uh, interesting element to take, you know, say frequency, which seems to belong in the lab, to um, doing, doing business and, and, uh, and doing this work that, you know, all of us as entrepreneurs do, uh, using that to, uh, to um, you know, determine what path to take, who to work with, what deals to take on, who to invite, all of that. I, I see it in, in terms of frequency and bandwidth. What are you vibrating at? Um, you know, what's in your field? 
and uh, you know what uh, what does that look like when you span it out over a period of time right which can be very interesting as well so when we make a change personally it changes the vibration which we carry around with us and I think you know, this might be something that if I can give you something, because we don't have a lot of time um, on this call, as we, this is a, a group sharing event, I, I think I can give you something that might be useful and maybe a tool that you can use and take into your life and, uh, um, and think about, reflect on as you go through your days and evenings and weeks and months uh, as time goes forward. So I think maybe, do, would you like me to share what I, what we talked about in terms of um, when we were talking about uh, making a shift in, in terms of who you are and, and how, he, how that coordinates the events and people that come into your life, that might have been. Or where would you like me to go with it? Um, you could do Sam. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, because I had experienced something yesterday and an old version of myself would have handled it a lot differently. And I was able to see mm -hmm. how I actually showed up and I was able to control my emotions, my thoughts, and my action. Mm -hmm. Knowledge really helps you to change your frequency mm -hmm. as well. The more that you know, you can force or allow yourself to go to a higher frequency, which is really a lot more information coming in. It's almost mm -hmm. like going from 32-bit to 64-bit on the computer mm -hmm. side of things. So there's a lot more data to process. Mm -hmm. I think uh, this might be a good one. So I'll... I'll I'll uh, share a principle, which some of you may have heard before, which is how do I use this? Okay. So when something happens to you in life, rather than coming at it from a place of, oh, dear God, why is this happening to me? Right. If you come at it from a place of how do I use what is happening or how did I create what just happened? That that can be a place of either moving from a state of, uh, as I think all of us have through our own injuries, we have a, a tendency to go to the victim state, right? Where something happens and we go, oh, dear God, why is this, this happening? What did I do to deserve this? You know, and we typically blame ourselves. And this is a childhood program um, that all of us carry when we have something happen with our mom or dad. We're trying to save them in a way which may sound weird to, to hear, but we're trying to alleviate their pain. And this just shows the nature of how human beings work. We're always trying to help, right? Um, people say that humans are inherently evil. <laughs> humans are, are uh, this is the, the story that goes around with, uh, you know, with the, uh, you know, I call them the psychopaths who are blaming everything on the humans when they're the ones creating the situations that we're responding to is we're human beings at, at their very core, um, at our core, are, are good. And so what we do is we have a situation that happens where someone's in pain. We're, we're trying to help them. We're trying to do what we can to alleviate that pain. And, and so we grow up with this program where we're trying to alleviate the pain that we experience through the interaction with others. And what this does is it creates this, it's a victim uh, uh, mindset. Okay? So the, the idea is to evolve through that instead of blaming ourselves, okay, this happened, there's this crazy situation that just happened. Um, this person got angry at me for whatever reason, or um, this situation happened and it's terrible. And oh my God, why me? Instead of going into that frame of mind, if you instead ask, okay, this is happening for me this frequency is obviously present within me. So number one, it's present within me. So that means I have control. That means that I can change something within myself to prevent it from happening in the future. So this is where we use our will and we point it towards ourself rather than pointing it towards the external and trying to control the people, or I call it management, managing the situation that's happening before us. That's where we become these, you know, control freaks. Um, these people call them alphas, right? You're trying to control the situation around you. Point that inwards and look at yourself and go, how can I change what's going on inside, right? Or what is going on inside and becoming present with the truth that's within 
right? That, oh, this situation that's happening outside is like a situation that happened when I was three years old or four years old. Or maybe you have memories of when you were a, a fetus in your mother's womb, right? It can go back that far. And that's where the shift happens, where we see that our life is just this repeating pattern, this repeating pattern. And it all comes from those first, you know, some would say the childhood when we're in the mother's womb, or if you want to expand it from the early years, so say from zero to four and zero to five, uh, that these are simply the pattern creating years, you could say, and they repeat throughout our life. So this is, this is the shift. And I mean, I know this is deep stuff. I know this is, uh, this is, um, is, uh, I mean, it, it's big. I mean, what happens and what, what Melanie and I were chatting about, and I'll be brief here. What Melanie and I were chatting about was about changing that frequency and having the external world completely shift and completely change and having these situations that we may try and manage or control not come around anymore because we're different and we've changed and we've shifted. And this is part of, and, and this is part of a larger, a larger scope where the question that I would ask and I've asked as, you know, growing up as a child, moving through life is how do we actually do that? How do we change the frequency that we are to cause our life to become something that we desire? It and really we may need to go into this, you know, I could do a whole, you know, PowerPoint yeah. session on this. But this might be something for another time. Anyways, that's what that's what I'm about. I take that and I turn that towards business and all of the stuff that we do in our daily life. Um, that's how I see it. I see I see bandwidth. I see frequency. I see who you are at your core. And I just want to say to everyone on the call, I honor that and thank you for showing up. It sounds like you're describing an eternal thing. Uh, called the Great Work or the Hero's Journey by Joseph Campbell. It's really that uh, that calibration. That's one of the models that uh, it, it, that's been useful. Yeah. Yeah, I ring with what you're saying. I, yeah. I totally understand this, and uh, fantastic that you do this. Thank you. Welcome. You're welcome. It is the Great Work. It's not easy. It's no, simple. It's not easy. That's the interesting part. It's simple, but it is probably the most difficult thing you'll ever do. But the rewards are huge. The for juice is worth the squeeze. Abs say. Absolutely. For those who don't know, yeah. it's, it really stems from hermetic philosophy as, as one of mm. its roots. It's, uh, it's nice to see other people talk this way. Thank you. Yeah, welcome. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for sharing, Sam, and actually for your impromptu uh, showing up on the show. Now, this is just one of the topics that we have. We have many topics. And as you can see, you, different people are coming on every single week, and you definitely could do a whole series on this this topic and i'm sure a lot of people would like to it could be actually its own youtube channel um but people would love to dial into i'm sure every single day because who doesn't want to get onto a better frequency i know there's been a few things that have been helping me get onto a different frequency definitely plugging into the videos and the podcasts that patrice has listened to over the years that have helped him and his lovely wife stephanie shift and also have a better life but also writing things down. So I was taught this from Bob Proctor, write down your goals and focus on your goals daily. Sometimes for overachievers, we don't know when to stop working. Sometimes we work to cope with our emotions and to avoid our emotions or dealing with our feelings or even looking at anything because we can go into overdrive mode or overachieving mode and then we get into that cycle where even though we have enough right now, we've always had enough right now. We want more, we want more, we want more, we want better, we want better, we want better, we want different, we want different, we want different, we want, 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 and it just never stops. It's like, it's like um, we're never just happy with just with what is. And a really dear friend of mine, Charles Blair, who actually connected me to this lovely Colleen today, Winnie. Um, basically taught me today to just be in the I am. So just try to sit and meditate in the I am and just be present in the moment of I am and be grateful in the moment of I am and be gratitude in gratitude. And so 
you know, a lot of people have had these awakenings and these magical things that have been happening over the last little while. And I also believe that that's another reason why our souls have aligned and our, our energy has aligned. It's because of the frequencies that we're on and the things that we're thinking and our experiences and because we all want better um, quality lives and of course have the best life that we possibly can and have massive amounts of success and having, excuse me, the right people to surround yourself with, the right mindset, the right um, environment for growth to happen in all areas of life, which is one of the, again, one of the reasons why this webinar series was created. So thank you again, Sam, for sharing and please do reach out to me one-on-one -on -one and we'll get you set up for, um, maybe you can do a, a show with Patrice since you both love this specific topic and of course um, that can be in the next week or two weeks or you know we plan we plan a few weeks out so just let us know what works best that for you. That would be fun yeah I think that would be a real uh, a real treat to uh, to do that and we can banter back and forth and I'm sure we'll have uh, a few new ideas come from that that conversation. Connecting minds is wonderful. Sharing ideas mm -hmm. just helps us all grow. Just think of it this way. No one knows this. Just a thought and things that ring deep inside of you is changing and modulating your DNA. A good mm -hmm. conversation actually changes your DNA, which is information frequency. Mm -hmm. So we can all heal ourselves in many different ways. 100%. 100%. Yeah, the best, uh, the best discoveries that I've had in the last say half a decade it's been throughout life but my realization has come more recently has been through tangents right tangents in conversations when you're when you start to think why are we talking about this where is this going that's you're just about at the gold you're just about at something that you've never thought before the, the both of you couldn't have logically thought up you're just about there just give it a moment you may it's arrive funny. somewhere. It's funny yeah. how that happens. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't believe. You wouldn't believe. And and again, this is in business as well too. This isn't just about random conversations that we have um, at a uh, at a at a dinner party or on a Zoom call. This is in business, guys. This applies everywhere. We'll need to make a show on this. I think mm -hmm. uh, moving forward, we need to get a few other people involved here. But man, <laughs> this is this has been enthralling. I can listen to this all night long. But we have Same. Australia who wants yeah. to go next, and then we have Neil. And uh, let's give as many people an opportunity as possible. Uh, this is wonderful, uh, and very happy you came on, Sam. I can't wait to hear more. Yeah, yeah Estralita. Estralita is joining us, and um, it's amazing because she's. When I first messaged her today. She said that she was busy working and I said, okay, so well, we would love to have your empowerment, your leadership and your knowledge on our calls. And um, thank you, Patrice, for always being such a great co-host. Um, for folks that are just new on, we have this webinar every single week at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. The Zoom ID is always my cell phone number. I made it that way so it keeps it simple. So if you ever forget what the login information is, you just dial my number, which is 604. 304555. Reach out to me if you want anyone's contact information that was on the call tonight because we do record that. Um, the only person that I don't know who is is QCOM. So maybe if you could type that name in the chat of who you are and how you found us. Um, but welcome, anyways. And I'm sorry to hear Jay popped off. She had a bit of an emergency there. So she will be in thought and prayers. And Estralita, thank you again for joining us. and. Welcome to this webinar series that we've created. We've kind of called it the Empowerment Leadership Series, but it's beginning to take a life um, of, of its own on, and it's wearing its own wings, and it's flying in so many different directions, and it's flying fast, so it's gonna continue to evolve. And um, I know that we are going to um, come up with the perfect name together as a group. And of course, Patrice is gifted at coming up with these marketing strategies. So I'm sure he'll think of something, but the premise was people, planet, prosperity. Um, and we welcome everyone's uh, feedback at the end when we're getting into social time, but I'm gonna give you the microphone because I feel like I've hogged in enough. So please, whatever you feel like speaking about tonight, we are all eager to listen to what you have to say and welcome you into the space with open arms. Awesome. Thank you. Hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Estralita. I'm here in Vancouver and um, 
I've, I guess I've known Melanie for about the last, almost the last year, and I see Neil on the call too, which is great. <laughs> hey, Neil. Um, yeah, I mean, people, planet, profits, prosperity, those are the P's that really speak to me, and, and that's uh, one of the reasons, I think, why we're drawn to each other, because we have a lot of of similar interests and in, uh, in how we run our businesses and our value systems. And uh, I'm feeling called to, um, you know, sort of get going again with this idea of, of, of networking and speaking with people because, you know, the world is, is slowly coming out of uh, a state of craziness in the last um, 18 months. And there's, there's been a lot of fear in the world, which is, I personally haven't felt any fear in the last year and a half, but that's because I feel I've done a lot of work on my own consciousness and, and trying to understand what this is all about in my own energy and trying to be, and I'm a fairly positive person. Um, but I think there's a lot of need for healing of others. There's a lot of people running around with victimhood mentalities and, and not realizing that they have the power within themselves to create anything that they want. And so um, I have a business here in Vancouver. I'm a, I have a wellness center and I have a skincare clinic. That uh, is my sort of day thing, um, but I'm feeling called to do uh, retreats, and retreats was something that I had already started to put together last year. I have a colleague, actually a woman who helped me a lot with this notion of energy, and that we are energy and the tools uh, to sort of tap into that every day of, of raising our consciousness and being very cognizant of what we, what we want. And I think half the journey in life really is for people to figure out what they want. Most people, you ask them, they don't have a clue what they'd actually, what their dream life would look like. And I think when you can start to think about things like that, and even the contrast that we experience in life can help us get to that notion of what it is that we want, right? When bad things happen or situations happen, okay, we realize we don't want those, but we actually want the opposite of that. And that contrast, I think we can all kind of relate to. So I'm really, I'm really excited to be part of the sort of of the voices of many who are coming out to really want to change the world and lift the vibration of the world so that we're actually just, you know, to help the planet too. And when people are happy and they're doing things and they're loving their lives and they've got healthy relationships and they're raising healthy children and they have businesses that serve the world, that, you know, that vibration, it helps the world, right? The, the, even the few people that are vibrating higher can actually lift a lot of the negativity that's around us. So we need we need those visionaries we need people who have that message of hope and love and prosperity to to deal with the people who are not feeling that um so there's there's lots of work to do and i feel called to be part of that in some way and that's as i for, for me i i've uh, i've written i've got four books that i've written in the last few years on wellness and and uh things around confidence and women's leadership uh, and women, I think, are a really big driver of this, um, especially women uh, um, here in, in the sort of Western world, but also more and more in the developing world, right? If we can educate women and have help women to actually um, own their own power with, with, through education, through building businesses, um, it, it actually has a way to, 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 to have a positive effect on the world through poverty and things like that as well. So I'm very, to your point, um, Melanie, on, on leadership and empowerment. Uh, the more women that we can empower around the world, the better this planet's going to be. We also will have fewer children <laughs> because the world doesn't need lots more children. We have families with 10 kids. You know, it's not sustainable on our planet. So when you educate women, they, they become, they don't have 10 children. They have two or three, <laughs> if, if, that's your, if that's the direction that they, that they want to go with that. So lots of great topics. Um, I'm happy to sort of put a face to, face to names and uh, pleasure to meet you all and, and I'm really interested in sort of uh, money and that money conversation and that's something I'll look forward to tapping into here with, with you Melanie and I'm sure with me that's something we have in common. Yes for sure and you know what all of us have different um, areas in life that we can lead in or share knowledge in and I'm open to having one-on-one -on -one meetings with everyone here. I'm also open to um, letting you all know that I've taken the liberty of collecting um, everyone's contact information from every single webinar that we ever have had. So I have a database now. Gosh, I think it's probably about 20,000 people, to be honest with you. Um, just with my LinkedIn following, uh, not to give my age away, but I am over 40. And so there's been 23 years pretty much of building these relationships with people. So it's very vast and it's actually global. Um, so I have people from all different walks of life from all over the world that I've come encountered with. And um, it's amazing that we all come together and we can lead in different arenas. So if you want to talk about 
something like, for example, a decentralized token or like something, you know, there was a lady named Jay that created her own cryptocurrency. She was on here earlier, but she had to pop off. Um, you know, I know that Robert and Neil are extremely well versed in the digital currency space, as well as um, other investments that we've invested in. And I'm not going to talk about my investments on here tonight, but I'm happy to share my story with you over coffee just because I don't have a financial background and feel really rather uncomfortable um, sharing that on here because it's, it's, you know, it's just information that it's better to be shared one on one unless it's an opportunity that could help people that are looking for an opportunity and of course seeking that knowledge but we have we have a couple of fun events we have satoshi saturday at noon pacific standard time on saturdays every saturday which is a really fun event because it teaches the history of digital currency which has been taking the world by storm for sure but i don't want to talk about it tonight per se um i want to just give everyone a chance to talk about what it is whatever it is that they want to talk about but definitely money is always a hot topic because who doesn't want to have a lot more abundance in their life? Because I feel like money's energy it just amplifies who you already are. And I welcome it with open arms in all different ways and all different forms. And ever since I decided to have a better relationship with money, finances have been improving in my life because right now I love money. Right now money loves me, but money only loves me because it makes me more of, and makes me be able to be more of who I already am as a soul and be able to give back more to the world and to help more and to actually put money into projects that are actually making a difference in people's lives or make a difference in um, the planet. Like I love hemp. I love sustainable energy. Um, I love anything that's, you know, helping to um, help mother earth. Uh, somebody asked me this morning, what would you do if you had a million dollars? I said, I would, get um find other people that had a chunk of money and get onto a farm and start growing our own fruits and vegetables living on a farm having these little sustainable houses which i know that patrice has done a blueprint for but i wouldn't change not having this webinar i want to have this webinar and, and build this out until the day that i'm 120 years old and i leave this planet and i want to help the planet sustain itself so that we can all live to be 120 or 150 or however old that we want to live because life is a gift and we're always growing and changing and, and the world is changing. So feel free, Estralita, to let us know how we can best service you. Like if there's something that you want from the community, let us know how it is that we can support you and also support your women's empowerment movement. Um, but also men need to be equally as supported as women too and we realize that, but like how can we be of service to you? You have to let us know how we can help you and how you want to have your own presentation one, one night. Um, you might want to do it on a specific topic. It's also like five or seven thousand dollars a month. This is a big investment. If you really, really think that's like, uh, if, if you, you wanted to, prepared, I don't know. I don't know. Just on <laughs> I don't know who that was. I still don't know who Q comments, but <laughs> they're on here. My apologies, I wasn't fast enough. Melanie, sorry, sorry to interrupt you. Please. Go ahead. Sorry, just one second. I'm going to ask Estralita to mute, unmute you. So, asking you to unmute yourself, Estralita. I think Teresa okay. talked about that. Oh, hi, everybody again. Yeah, I know. I, I'm really just here to kind of plug in and see who's on and what kind of conversations you're having. Um, if you want to get a really great facial at my business, you're <laughs> welcome to come on down. 16th and McDonald. Just got a new laser machine. Super excited. You got acne scars. I can help with that. <laughs> um, but um, yeah, I just uh, that's my core business. But um, you know, like I said, I, I'm always interested in hearing ideas, new new things that are coming out. I am a, the classic entrepreneur, always have my ears open to opportunities. Um, and like I said, I'm, I'm super excited at, at, at the world and where we're going and the fact that the economy is going to start to, I think, take off again. And there's going to be opportunities for everybody to really plug into stuff. But it's um, for me personally, I'm not, at, I'm not here for an ask. One day, hopefully when my retreats are ready, I'll come back and talk about that. 
but um, I'm here to sort of listen, learn, and, and network. So happy to meet everybody. Thanks. Thank you so much again, Estelita. And um, yeah, and actually for Patrice, because he's co-host and I know it's hard to keep track of who's going next and talking about which, which topics that they want to talk about because I know there's a lot of people and I know people have had their hands up. I know Luz had his hands up, Niels had his hands up. We all have something to say. So I don't know. I don't know who went, who went, who's going first, Lou or Neil. You guys have to pull a straw or think of a lucky number. I'll kneel down to Neil. He can go if he likes. Neil asked to uh, speak early on. So let's give uh, Neil the stage for a bit. And Lou, I can't yes, wait to hear what you have to say. That. Hey kid, I'm at the uh, Kelowna airport. I just took it off mute. So it's a nice majestic uh, ambience here. And just so you know, it's a ghost town here. There is nobody in this airport, you guys. I could- Where are you? Throw a bowling ball in this, the Kelowna airport. I'm, wow. I'm traveling across the country. I'm going up to Kitimat, so- You should uh, see gonna, Jay while you're there, because Jay's in Kelowna. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be doing my Gulliger's Travels here with you guys. Wow. I, I stopped at the uh, Shoe Swap houseboat and I got this hat, so I'm Captain Crypto <laughs> now. <laughs> Captain Crypto. <laughs> Whoa, that's funny. So my brother decided, he's the oldest, um, he's uh, retired 40 years as a physiotherapist in Edmonton, and he bought a boat in the shoe sh for, the, for his cabin in the Shoe Swap. He's from Edmonton, but... He said, hey, we had a Zoom call for a family reunion. This seems to be kind of a common thing now, people doing family reun reunions on the Zooms. Like, this is a wonderful thing you're doing, Melanie, is <laughs> last year we kind of did the same thing, but you got, you stepped it up a bit here with the higher, higher vibration here. I went, so, I upped my game. It was time for me to take my success to the next level. So I'm just going to hopefully just do, well, more success. Maybe we're all five, in this maybe together. five minutes and I'll just give you my, three days in five minutes. It's pretty exciting what I, I saw in the last three days here through the travels. So if I share my, if I share my screen here, can I do that? Um, yes, Patrice and I have to make you co-host. Okay, so, so that'd be awesome. I wanna show you some amazing pictures of my journey. Thank you for acknowledging the growth as well, um, Neil. It's oh, yeah. an amazing journey for sure. Yeah. I think you need to make him co-host. I don't see the yeah. cues. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. You got this. Awesome. So, so Melanie, I heard about this in 1988. It reminds me of you every time I think of this place. It's called uh, Silver Hills. It's up in the uh, Lumbee area, which is north of Vernon, northeast of Vernon. And uh, Estrelita, I think they might hire you to go up here. But this was my mission to come up to this place. I'd been there like four or five years ago, and I just... I love what these guys are doing, you know, the health, wellness, hope, and healing. Mm -hmm. And there's a phenomenal website, uh, video here. You guys want to watch that. It's called silverhills.ca. It's been out there for since 1974, you guys. Oh, my God. Like, it's, it's, it's exactly what you're talking about, Melanie. Wow. Yeah, it's, you'll love it. So this is... Uh, That's amazing. Oh, like, you're going to blow... It's going to blow your way when you see that Did website. Is that Bitcoin, too? Uh, well, they will because I just trained them this morning. I had breakfast with them this morning. So my brother, he asked for advice on how should we do a family reunion. We have had this cabin out in Shushwap, a northern tip of Shushwap, a little town called Seymour Arm. Can you guys see this? Yep. Okay. So these are houseboats. It used to be three boys. They made quite an industry out of it. But you can get 24 people on these boats. So I did a little video tour. I put it on my Facebook, my Bitcoin Revolution Facebook. And so as I'm traveling through this, the first place I stopped from, from Sam, uh, Sylvan Lake, I left Sylvan Lake, interior central Alberta, to the crossing where my, my sister's partner, they've been together for four or five years now. He's had this, this place called the crossing for 47 years. He was like 19 years old when his dad bought this in 1975 and so it's quite a remarkable little pit stop if you guys ever been to the Columbia ice fields there's little cabins in here you can do like a retreat out there for one or two days it'd be a great little pit stop for for us to get together maybe twice a year if you guys want to do a little trip there 
That would be really cool. It yeah, it's adventure. all kinds of activities here. So, and then this was in Sycamus about five hours later. And this is the image of the interior. We have Kelowna where I am right now. If you can see my cursor, I'm right down by the airport here. Um, but I went up to this down from, you know, Calgary or whatever and through here. And uh, I love this map. This is a satellite picture of the interior. This is be beautiful lakes in here. And this is uh, my lunch the other day. And uh, I stopped him to see my client of almost 30 years. He had this business up in Hines Creek, which is way up north. Uh, is it, what do you call those bee uh, keepers? They're, they're, there's a name for them. But I, I bought like about $400 worth of my, of the bee products, like propolis, royal jelly, uh, bee pollen, um, like wax, candles, wine. It's all so cool. And uh, they have, this is my, my client, Ed. Uh, he's just an awesome guy. Uh, this is all the derivatives of products that he sells. Right. And then I ended up down trying to get to Silver Hills to that first thing I showed you guys. And I, I, I didn't realize it, but I was up there five or seven times over the last 20, 30 years. And I didn't even know this was called I Ireland Creek. And I'm, my descendants are from Ireland. So this is uh, the name of the place called uh, Silver Hills. And this is what it looks like on the outside. This was, I slept in my Jeep uh, last night and I, I woke up at six in the morning to see this. And it was just stunning, you know? Wow. And you know what? It's a reminder that we all need to take more time and enjoy it because, you know, that's what life's about, right? It's about enjoying those moments. And I, I know there's a lot of people on this call right now that, like, as long, as long as we're meeting for business, I know we're ready to, I'm ready to do some road trips. That's for damn sure. Yeah, you guys would love the Silver Hills. We should all go up there. So, uh, so this how long is... have you been out here, man? Uh, 80, uh, 1973. What? So that's Phil Brewer. He's uh, up there since he was uh, 25 years old. He's 71 now. Mm -hmm. And this is the man, the, the myth and the legend right there. He drives up and down the mountain with that truck. You know what? I've actually met him before. Wait a minute. Silver Hills Winery. Is this the one that's shaped like a pyramid? No, no. So this is Silver Hills Guest House. In, ah, in, okay. You got to go to Vernon and then you go into east of Vernon. You go to Lumbee, a little lumber town. And a further... Right. Another four, uh, half an hour in. And this is uh, my... This is your captain speaking. Captain. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good Thank you, Neil. I also wanted to just let you know that we're going to have um, um, Lou and Krista and JR. They all wanted to say something too. So continue okay. on. I don't want to interrupt you. I don't want to interrupt you. But I... I Last time we were on this call, we were on until midnight. Yeah, okay, we're so, almost done here. We're not negotiating this, because we're going to create some Bitcoin mining <laughs> operation on their waterfall hydro dam. This is exciting. All aboard, boys and girls. <laughs> that's hilarious. Well, that's great, Neil, and I can see a major shift in you. Okay, I'm trying to... Get to the next one here. Is a, you know what? I, I see a major shift in you. Like your energy is just beautiful right now. Whatever you're doing <laughs> in your life, keep doing it. Keep doing it. Okay. Keep having that honeybee stuff because it's working for you. Yeah, like I, I got doused up with the goodies. So mm -hmm. this, you guys, is a quick video of, the, of this gorgeous facility here. But this is the dam. The, the, the water... A creek runs down the mountain. Yep. And they built this Silver Hills Creek. You got to protect all this, right? Keep this and so make their own electricity here. Create right. electricity here. I wonder how Caleb's water turbine would work for them. There it is. That's a really good point, actually. 
the natural hydro. They've had it for 30 yeah. years, this uh, natural electricity here. I just want to say we acknowledge Lou and JR, and we know that you guys want to go next, so don't worry. Your turn is shortly coming. And then Krista, and anyone else that wants to go after Krista, let's just get you guys to keep typing your names in the chat so we can keep track of the flow. I want to make sure everyone gets a chance to share. Thank you so much. Yeah, Khalid can help you with some power in that uh, little uh, dam there, I think, with his... Uh... <laughs> you know what? This call's been magically aligned. Trust me. There's somebody in control, and it's not me. <laughs> so then I went down further, a little further, you guys. Look at this. If you've not been here, you must see this. This is stunning. It's Shushwap. Uh, it's, a, it's a river coming off the mountain. It's called the Shushwap uh, Dam. Look at this. Stunning. That's owned by BC uh, Hydro. These guys are grabbing on the sticks, trying to get sticks off the... <laughs> Amazing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, that's pretty cool, eh, guys? Pretty cool. Yeah. Thank you so, so much, Neil. So, yeah, and um, that's great. So, yeah, maybe you guys can meet Lou and... Connect. You never know what's going to happen next, right? This is a magical journey. Yes. Well, the some the wine the winery you're talking about is Stephen Sipes, uh, Summerhill Winery, and he's got the yurt. If you look up my name on YouTube, I did a, a great and positive energy with a smudge, and you can see the uh, the visions going through the top of the uh, uh, there. beautiful spot to bring people for a glass of wine. Yeah. Yeah. Very good place. Uh, he has organic wine for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you you almost finished, or you I'm got done. a little bit more? That's that was that was a very entertaining. entertaining. Travel three days and ten minutes, there, guys. Nice. Cool. You, you want to go ahead, dear? And Neil, thanks for sharing a bit about your journey with us. We really appreciate it, and we welcome everyone on here on Thursday night. And I went out on a limb and I made probably 50 phone calls this week. And this is who I was able to get onto the call. We have, we've had 21 people on today and we're actually helping a lot of people. Like I just got a beautiful message and thank you, Jillian, for your support. Um, you know, we're changing lives. We're helping the world. We're, we're doing great things. So Lou, I don't want to take away from your talk time. You please go no. ahead. Yeah, no worries. So, you know, uh, it was a very interesting conversation with the gentleman that was talking about, uh, you know, your spirituality and that uh, uh, what, how you can uh, 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 get focused on your life and move forward. And I was uh, living uh, 10 years in Whistler. We worked at Buffalo Bills, where Colin James, Atlanta Miles, Stephen Stills, Blue Rodeo, Tragically Hip Ball played there. And uh, then I thought I had a drinking problem. So I went to Hawaii and uh, quit drinking for a month and I went to this course. And this lady, she just got back from San Francisco and she's telling about, uh, you know, you got to write yourself five letters. One about family, one about financial, one about business, one about spirituality, and one about uh, the direction you want to go in your life. You put them in a box and a year later, you pull them all out, find out where, you, where you're at. And uh, at the end of the uh, session, she would say, lay down on that mat. I'm going to turn down the lights and repeat after me. She'd say, I love myself the way I am, but I want to change and grow. And the only way I'll change and grow when I know deep down under that I am the best person that I can be. And so that was kind of very, uh, mm -hmm. you know, and then you go, you go to uh, the Magic Sands Beach and go uh, hang out for the rest of the day. So it was kind of a, but I quit drinking for the whole month. So it was good. Mm -hmm. And 
Jake, uh, Jacob well, we Stiller. I had our call at 6.30, but Robert was running late, so we didn't get on our, our call till like, five to seven. Now I'm staying as always on Thursday night. So I'll have to give you back the host uh, there. I, I muted Wendy there. Yes, please. Thank you very much, because this is hard to control. I'm thinking Patrice is helping. Lou, Lou, I'll get Lou back on here. Sorry, Lou. OK. Uh, yeah, I am, working, I am working in the background, so I try to get back to it as soon as possible. Good. We get an odd uh, sounds there. So sorry about it wasn't quick on the draw. Okay. I didn't have to the volume, so there we go. You well, I just got a, the last thing I want to say is that uh, you know, we had a very good talk with uh, uh, or a guy that's uh, Jacob Hiller. He's a boiler maker and he's just finishing his position up there and coming back to uh, Chetwin. And he was talking to Khalid there about his uh, project and he really likes the, the run of the river uh, turbine. And also that uh, we have a project that we're gonna do at Chetwin. It's called the Tesla Green Black Hole Machine that uh, we uh, got the permission for those guys to say, oh, you gotta go down there to the uh, head guys in uh, Victoria. And so uh, when finally I said to the guy, he says, well, you know, three times we uh, got on the call, we waited 45 minutes, he didn't show up. Are you gonna show up the next time? And he did. And he says, oh, I'm gonna pass you on to this next guy. And he says, well, how are you gonna make that? Are you gonna, you gonna get back to us? Well, he said that if those guys could change the bylaw up in Chetwin, we could put our machine to work. So hopefully uh, that area where Kaleeb is, that we can have uh, the Chetwin project and work with the turbines and uh, set up the uh, uh, renewable energy to be pushed into the vertical farm. And uh, the, uh, uh, basically uh, we want to have our made beaver, which was a currency my great great grandfather uh, did with Hudson Bay and gave the made beaver to shop in his, uh, unit, what we want to do is have our communities use our currency backed by renewable energy and backed by in-ground assets. So that's kind of our thinking. Thank you. That's cool. amazing. It's excellent. It's incredible how uh, Caleb's uh, projects are something that most people have been needing an alternative to the status quo or the expensive solutions yet giving an enormous amount of power and reliability. So yeah, it speaks for itself. And it's nice to see Lou talk about this and uh, the testimonies of people who've heard this. It, it, is, it is changing. It's really turning about, uh, instead of being carbon um, neutral, you're literally um, carbon negative with the technologies that are used this way. And it's nice to see uh, this kind of technology develop and expand. And then you saw Dennis Moy, and he was the gentleman that was talking about the, uh, you know, too much acid in the body and become more alkaline. Uh, and he's the guy, the finance guy that wants to put the money in. He, he went to China and they, he went to look at all these generators, how to generate power. So there's a generating system, but Cleek said he doesn't need that. We could, uh, uh, and he said the mega, we need one megawatt. Well, you could have two, 500 megawatts and they gear up. So the basic thing is, is how do, how do you, get the wind blowing and it gears up like a John Deere tractor and then creates a power that continues to turn and, uh, and make power when the wind's not blowing anymore. And also you can uh, be able to do that uh, with this technology, so which is cool. And Dennis, he says, I know more wind about most people and I like it. So uh, I know it's a startup, but uh, you know, once we get the test done, we want to uh, continue working with you guys. Like those little little units, they're 500 kilowatt units. Um, they're two meters in diameter, so they're huge. Um, they're nearly 20 feet tall, so put that into, I think that's more than uh, seven uh, meters tall. They're big units. Yeah. And um, what's interesting about them is that, yeah, they can operate in low flow rates. So they don't need a lot of wind. They work quite well. Same with the turbines as well, the hydroelectric. As long as they have flow, they're good. That's right. So the, the water is always flowing that you could always get the energy whereas the, the wind, uh, you know, as long as you can uh, gear it up and gear it down, you can uh, keep more power. So solar wind, biomass, cogeneration systems all fit into a microgrid to store the energy until you can push it into your uh, 
a vertical farm and we want to become our own utilities so that we don't pay a lot of cash to uh, the monopolies. Thank you so, so much, Lou, for sharing um, and also for being a loyal fan. And I just want to take the time to actually acknowledge everyone that's come on to our platform and be part of our community every single week. There is no I in team. Um, so it's a team effort and teamwork makes the dream work. And I also want to acknowledge that some of the people that are in the background on calls, they're actually on calls because they are actually working other parts of our business and working really hard to make sure that all of us are successful in different areas of life. So, um, you know, what we need to do is just get better at controlling the volume, but this is a work in progress and I'm not actually going to edit the video. I'm just going to pop it on YouTube because quite honestly, it's better to be authentic and real at this point um, and keeping it real and anything that you don't want to have broadcast on YouTube should not be shared on these calls. What I think I'm going to do is get everybody to finish sharing and then I'm going to actually go and stop the recording so that we can have more of a free flow and pretty much talk about anything that we like and I'll let you know when we've stopped recording and actually Zoom lets you know too because it does an official announcement which is um, letting you know that it's being stopped recording. So just want to take the time to acknowledge everybody and thanks again Lou. Thank you again. Thanks Melody for what you do. Oh thank you. You know, I love it and I'll be doing this probably until the day that I'm leaving this planet with my white hair and um, which I dye brown or purple or whatever color I decide to dye at that time. Or maybe at that time they'll have new anti-aging technology, which I know Richard is dying to share, that'll keep us looking young forever so we don't have to grow old and become a bag of bones and fall apart and disintegrate. <laughs> But I think our souls live on anyways, and I think they do live on in different things. And I've come to realize that um, um, in my course of life, because I definitely feel that I've been on this earth more than once, and I'm, I'm back here again. Um, to hey, Patrick, uh, you could take over the control. I had just admitted somebody here, so. Excellent, thank you. Yeah, I saw the menu pop. So what I'm gonna do is just, oh, yes. if there's any, Needs to be muted here. Yeah, I need to mute. mute. Thank you. Yeah. Um. So what we're gonna do is we'll go into Krista. So Krista, I know you've been patiently waiting. I know you've had some quantum leaps this week and some pretty um, exciting experiences. And I just want to say thanks for coming back to this environment. And thanks again, Patrice, for being such an amazing host. Um, and also, I think I need a few of them on here so that if one of us is busy working on something else or if I'm getting buzzed from somebody who can't log on to Zoom, we can have somebody else control the volume. But this is how we work as a great team. So we'll keep the flow going. We're keeping the dream alive. We're flowing through this. So Krista, welcome again. And from Arizona, you're joining yeah. us. And a referral that came through from Kathleen. And I, I believe you may know some of the other ladies that are on this call. So thank you again for your contribution. And I have actually told Andrew Resmer about you, who actually is living in Arizona for half of the year. I love that. Missions of the year. And he's reaching out to you if he hasn't done that already. Okay. He said he was going to come and visit you the next time he's there. And I told him that you had liked the Conscious Living radio page. So he was really grateful for that. They'll probably come on next week, if not the week after, and share with us. So um, yeah, people from all over the globe are finding us and coming on and joining us. And I know. Um, it's just, I know you've been waiting patiently. So we'll go to you and then we'll go. I know Jason wanted to say something after you. So please take your time, um, share from the heart, say whatever it is that you want to say. This is your platform. This is everyone's platform really. And it's, it's a collaboration. No. Yeah. And thank you for, um, having me back. And I love, um, everyone that, you know, is new or that I'm seeing again. Hello. Um, I was telling, uh, Melanie earlier today actually, and I've just had a crazy week in formations uh, happening. And, uh, you know, I guess I'll speak on kind of personal for those of you that didn't meet me last week. Um, I do live in Arizona. I'm originally from the Midwest, though. So I've been here for like four years. And um, I guess I in the words of my mom today, she said, Krista, continue working on yourself because you've mastered your job. So uh, like Melanie, I run 150 to 200 miles an hour and I'm always spinning and never stop working. And 
you know, uh, in the recruiting business, people reply to me at midnight because they want a job. Uh, so, you know, you, you're kind of always working in sales, but um, I recruit nationwide for digital marketing, graphic designers, UI, UX, um, front end development. Um, oh, are we saying good night? No, no, no just oh. um, Beatrice. Beatrix. Oh, sorry. Okay. Um, and so, yeah, and I, although I also, I've also been like practicing, um, law of attraction and, um, lots of, you know, mindfulness, um, listening to tons of podcasts and just getting really inspired. And I went to yoga the other night and, um, it's a lot of the things the teacher was talking about really spoke to me. Um, and she, you know, said, sometimes we have to truly, uh, lose ourselves to um, and let go, right? To come back. So just releasing and peeling back the layers and allowing. And sorry, my Mac is dinging. Um, and that is, you know, really what I've been working on myself. And then I walked outside my to my car at the gym, and there was a feather on there. So um, it was kind of a, a sign of you know divine power and just positive energy. And um, you know, I'm just big into personal development, whether it be helping people with their resume or, you know what I mean? Like they're branding themselves with their business or social media because I recruit for all of that, but also just, you know, working on yourself because we have to do the work within ourselves first to um, really be the best version of ourselves personally and professionally. So that's really all I had to say. And I like hearing about everyone. Um, but yeah, that's kind of a, my niche, if you will. Very nice. Yeah, no matter what, we have to take responsibility and do things ourselves. You you hit the nail on the head there. Awesome. Thank you, Krista, for sharing. And also for um, making it on again. Um, it's great to see you come back here. And I'm glad I caught you on the fly. I'm like, I should invite her again to this. And maybe she didn't see the posting. So I just they make the phone calls, send the flyers out, do the marketing campaigns. And I know Patrice has been a gem at getting people on the call as well. And I know all of us do our best to invite guests. So I want to acknowledge that. Excuse me. And I think J J R Jason, I think you had your That's hand right. up. I'm here. No problem, Melanie. You're having a beautiful evening here with your meeting. All these divine souls that have come together to support your cause and your initiatives. Thank you. That's great. Uh, I wanted to bring everything up. Uh, bring this up to people here on the call and then it can resonate out to the universe as it goes out because this is something I think it's very important. I'm working with a collaborative group, not from this group here, but we're working on putting together the first of its kind um, convention slash concert slash slash health and wellness event. It's going to be happening be in the center of Canada between Saskatchewan and Manitoba. I would say it'd be about 45 minutes uh, north of Yorkton, Saskatchewan. Uh, we want to bring people that are mindful. They're looking for spiritual guidance. We're going to have tribal influence, tribal spiritual uh, speakers, knowledge keepers that are going to come forward and talk. Uh, this is an event that's just coming together rapidly <clears throat> amongst uh, several groups. We're going to have different musicians there as well. Um, the event is even friendly to cryptocurrency because uh, it's going to be accepted by their token as well as Bitcoin, Ethereum, you name it. It doesn't matter. Come as you are. Bring your family. It's going to be friendly. We're going to have security at this uh, event. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's roughly about 2,000 acres of land, okay? 2,000 acres of land, and it's a, it's a beautiful piece of land. In, in the middle of central Canada between Manitoba and Saskatchewan. Now the event, I think, is going to cost about, uh, it's going to be roughly for five days or four days, but I'm going to get more information as it comes along, and I'll get, uh, I'll get the conveners to come and talk at the next event, that next uh, show that you have. It's every Thursday, right, Melanie? Um, Thursday, this is going 7 to, p.m. Yeah, yeah, we want this to be, something that resonates with everybody that is spiritually focused is tired of being in their cocoon locked down they are free to travel now this is going to happen on july 15th to the 18th so i'll have more information on logistics uh, we'll have maps and and gps on how you can get there but we want this event to be focused on family friendly 
There's going to be, um, you name it, different type of uh, health and wellness events at this at this uh, uh, retreat, and it's something unique. It's never been done before, and yes, we're going to have it on social media, and we're going to let the world know that uh, we're coming together as one. One meaning all races, yellow, black, red, white, unite. We have to unify because we the people are the voice that is coming together, even on this call and even to this event. So I'll know more as it comes together, but it is going to happen. Thank you so Thanks much. Thanks for your time. Awesome. Yeah. We are all part of the two-legged tribe. It's important to stick together for a better future. Details, 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 details. I'm all about the details. So please send us the details so that we can put it into our calendar. We all leave busy lives. This is why I love systems. And thank heavens there's folks on here that are system masters and even better at them than I am. Like Patrice is a genius. Robert is a systems wizard. Like Richard was blown away yesterday when he troubleshot, was troubleshooting his technical stuff within a matter of seconds. But you know what? Master your lane. Like Richard's got, he's dialed into all of his healing technologies. So, and I know he's been, he's been um, just eager to share something with us tonight on anti-aging. So we definitely will have him go um, soon. Please type your name in the chat group, raise your hand, don't feel shy. Sal, thank you so much for coming on. Good friend of mine in Vancouver, has a coffee shop in Robson by the Library Square. Go visit him, have a coffee, uh, have a coffee, have a nice conversation. Great to see you on here. Um, Steven, thank you so much for coming on. I'm gonna look for names in the chat for who would like to go next. And I know that Richard's been um, patiently waiting. So we will, of course, give him the microphone. Um, but thank you so much, Jason, for letting us know. Can you please let us all know about events that are coming up that you think we could A, collaborate with, or B, could be a part of? Because this is how we actually can grow our community by plugging in with other tribes as well. Now, speaking of tribes and vibing with tribes, we had a beautiful goddess tribe leader Jay on earlier on this call. Unfortunately, um, I think I read that her best friend's father had an accident or what have you. And um, so she's in our prayers tonight and I'm sure everything will work out just fine for her and her family and her friends. Um, but she's a wonderful soul and definitely has a very large community and network. So without further, whoa, that's a beautiful picture. Without further ado, we're going to go to Richard, who Richard I love um, because he has helped me move through a lot of energy in my body. And so that I can have a lot of energy. Whoa, that was cool. Um, a lot of energy in, in life to be able to do the things that I really want to do and to keep sustaining this fuel that I have been burning, the midnight fuel, as so to speak. He's been rejuvenating my body. Um, on a cellular level and actually overcoming um, breast surgery last year in March, I started seeing Richard for my breast health and he'd been working on my whole body, but specifically my breast because I fought breast cancer. I killed it. I was like, you are leaving my body and you're going away. See you later. And um, I've had breast pain off and on since last year. I won't say it's perfect, but it's definitely improved by 80% since last year. Um, and I know with more sessions from Richard, it's going to be even better. And I'm excited to try his amazing new technology that he has. Richard is in Vancouver, so he's close to, close to the lower mainland area here and um, has been a gifted, just a gift for me. And I'm, I'm grateful to you, Richard. So thank you for the work that you do. And I always feel like when you're working on me that I know this sounds completely crazy, but I always feel like Jesus is working on me, <laughs> like Jesus and God, like because he put me in touch with you and right when I needed you the most. And I feel like, I feel like there's something about your hands, like you have a magic touch. Like you're definitely a very um, gifted healer. And I think, I think you know my body and how to shift it and why there's certain pains in certain parts of the body and not other parts of the body. And that what we have to realize is that a lot of our, um, 
body tissue is controlled. We, we hold, especially as women, we hold a lot of, of emotions in our fascia, in our flesh, right? And our, and our, in our, in our, in our body, because, um, we have a harder time of letting go than men. Cause I find, because we, um, are a little bit more sensitive creatures than men and have a lot more emotions and feminine energies. And we actually are, if you think about it, we're actually a boatload of hormones. So to balance my hormones out, I've been taking two supplements. I've been taking this fantastic, perfect amino acid um, supplement, which Richard got me dialed into. And Patrice is sending me some powder because he also teaches on the nutrition front, um, which I'm excited to receive because I was taking spirulina but I'm taking this now, five tablets a day, and this has been balancing out my stomach um, uh, chemistry. I can feel a shift there and helping me with my digestion, the amino acids. But amazingly enough, I took vitamin D3 in 1000 IU, which is what something that Patrice told me to take a, about a month and a half ago, and finally I bought it. <laughs> took one pill today or one capsule today of oil, and I felt instantly better in my mind. This plus the D3 helps with uh, treating, I don't, I can't say that it's a cure because I'd be in trouble, but I can tell you that personally it's helped to treat my anxiety and I'm feeling so much happier and so like grateful for these supplements and for the knowledge that, that you guys have shared, right? So we're continuing to evolve as human beings and, and this knowledge is, um, being given to us and we're we have access to a lot more knowledge and divine knowledge than we ever have in this life and i'm very connected to source energy and i believe that i was guided to create all of this through my new near-death experience from god everything that that's been created on this webinar right now is from god so i want to actually give thanks to him and the source energy and the light and the beauty and that this energy is divine energy that exists in all of us. So thank you, Richard, for he helping to heal me. And of course, Patrice and other people on this call that have actually made a difference. And, and um, I just want to make sure that you're all acknowledged, like everybody is acknowledging everything that you guys are doing. So Richard, please go ahead. And then what I'm going to look to do is um, type, look, send me names in the chat of who wants to go after Richard, please. And also, um, thanks again. And Wendy actually shared the name of the event, so I'll be putting that in here that she looked it up. Thank you, Wendy, for doing that. So Richard, you gotta unmute your volume, please, dear. And then we're just gonna see who else wants to go after Richard and everybody's welcome to share. Well, hello, everyone. Love being here, loved every single word, expression, that has taken place here tonight since I come on the call or this um, Zoom call anyways. And um, it all resonates so well with me. Uh, you know, for everyone wanting to contribute to help to change the world, right? And um, we are in it all together. It's not about me, it's not about we, really it all becomes us. We, and, and I love so therefore to hear all this sharing because we're part of a great mind. We're part of the universe. We have a universe, but we're connected to the greater universe out there. And so once we acknowledge that, and that uh, we're here, not for self, you know, people are so used to uh, taking selfish, and I think that's part of the, the control mechanism, divide and conquer and so on. But let's just focus on what we can do and how we can change the world. And that all begins with each and every one of us. And um, then, you know, just a little by little, we move forward. And um, had an amazing day. Before coming on the call, I had an amazing experience. And I don't know, just kind of heightened my overall connections at every different level. I came in here like literally vibrating uh, so amazingly well. So when I'm list, I was listening to everyone shared by everyone. I want to just thank you guys for what you're doing and what you're sharing. I think it's very important. Um, so I love you. I love what I hear, and I hope you hear more. Okay, because <clears throat> what we're doing here is providing hope to each and everyone that's present here, but then also to the rest of the world. <clears throat> 
I look at the word hope as helping other people evolve, right? And it begins with the mind shifts. It begins, and then everything is energy, which is frequency and vibration. And when we raise our vibration, we are also not just receivers, but we're sending. So let's just, we're like crystals, we vibrate. So let us just vibrate at the higher level and that we can, those who perhaps maybe not even see us, but we're in their presence, they can be affected by our vibration. So when we, love, when we live with that purpose and intention to be that, okay, to, uh, and that's how I really kind of purpose myself here on a daily basis. I love waking up. I, I love the, the challenge, call it that, of the day and experience and how may I contribute. <clears throat> and that's when we look at the example of what nature is doing. You know, when the sun is out, it's out there for the good of everyone. And we can all come in the appreciation. Some people maybe don't <laughs> appreciate the sun as much because they get burned, so they have to take a little bit of protection. But really, it's there. You know, the sun provides light, you know. And so for me, it's like, okay, how can I help in providing more life to everyone? So, you know, when, and I, I look at everything now. As, as, call it the lowest common denominator, but it's not really that. It's the highest thing that can happen is that everything is energy, frequency, vibration. And what I love about it is now that what has been gifted to me, that through those wands, that is really been just a tool, a connection. And um, I've been working with them for six years. It really allows me to touch on every level of things. And I'm just grown. I just feel that I'm still at very much of an infant state working with those things. So maybe one day I might not even need it, but I just feel myself evolving at all those levels. But my highest intention and purpose is to um, help people, help them shift, and not just at the physical level. I see this now uh, evolving even into other different areas. And I see the, the vehicle that is keeps on opening up. You know, it's like things come my way and I, I when you come into my office, I've got all kinds of technologies and people say, wow, where did you get that from? I says, you go look, I don't go looking, the stuff comes to me. <laughs> and that's what's so amazing. So I guess I kind of attract it. And again, I want to use this to the highest purpose and that's help everyone. And I do feel that 90% of the people that I get to work with, and Melanie can contest to that, uh, you know, um, uh, get a big shift and I'll just give you an example of the day um, I had two people one a younger person having some challenges he says I go everywhere um, but you are one of the persons that can really help me feel different and so then I had another couple elderly um, she's in her 70s so is he he's a Parkinson's person you know was labeled that but um, and she phoned me just before the call. She says, I just want to let you know, I had to catch a bus and I could run. <laughs> That's the way it should be. But I basically most of the time had to crawl over to the bus stop. And I was done. I could run to the bus stop. Okay. Wow. So, and then that bring, brings ear, uh, tears to my eyes. When I yeah. See I'm that getting happen. emotional. I'm getting emotional because I'm, <laughs> I'm like, you're getting teared up and I'm getting teared up too. Because it's like, you know, <laughs> It happen, and you know, I get emotional. I get emotional about this project because I love it, and it's yeah. my passion. And I think everybody can feel my energy because it's just amazing. And I'm like, I just love this. Like, this is like definitely my purpose for sure. And it's like I can see this is your purpose, Richard. And I remember, like, I feel so good from your sessions, like. I did have a bit of breast pain today, but I think it's because it's the old stuff leaving my body, like all the mm. old things and everything, you're flushing it out. And like, I want to hear about all your technology. I want to try it all. Like I've tried the light therapy. <laughs> and I've tried, uh, I was like, like, I don't want to give away my age, but I'm just going to go for it because who cares, right? Mm. I'm 44. I'll be 45 in August. And everyone always says, like, I was at the yoga studio a few weeks ago, and everyone always says, your skin. Like, it's like, what are you doing with your skin? I don't do anything. I drink two glasses of red wine a day. 
I have been doing that like since I was 20 because I love my red wine and my mom is your she was European and in Europe they have wine every night with dinner they have a glass of red wine or two um so I do that I have my spirulina um I followed actually Patrice's advice because he came over to my house and he took out all the stuff out of my cupboards that was toxic but I didn't know I was eating this toxic food so he's like this has got to go this has got to go we've got to get rid of this we're going to go through the fridge we're getting rid of this I'm like corn syrup like Melanie come on girl and I'm like yeah <laughs> And last last week, actually, because I got inflamed, I gained ten pounds in one day. Mm -hmm. Yes, and it was water yeah. weight. And I was like, "What the heck happened?" It was a food reaction. Like right now, I'm back to being slim again, but it was a food reaction because I was eating this mayonnaise that had corn syrup in it, even though it said made with olive oil, and it had canola oil and all this other crap in it. And I made this egg salad sandwich because I love egg salad sandwiches, and it was with organic everything. But the mayonnaise made me, I had a allergic reaction. My whole body blew up like a balloon. And then I was looking at the salad dressing and I thought I'm buying this stuff from Choices and it's organic. And I'm like, um, Rich is like, what's in it? Like looking at the ingredients closely is be like, you're eating toxic. So like, I just put it all into the bag and like put it into the trash can. And I'm like, I can't eat this anymore. Then I went to the farm, bought two bags of fresh greens. Like just let, like, it was like, $30 for two huge bags full of vegetables, like radishes, cabbage, greens, arugula, like all this fresh stuff. And like, I've just been eating that stuff now. And um, I'm looking forward to going back to seeing Richard, but Richard unblocked something to do with me and my finances and something with the energy work he did. And also something to do with love because my heart's been so open and I'm so maternal. I'm ready to adopt kittens and children and whatever <laughs> wants to find me. I'm like, I want to just love everything. And I haven't felt in this energy for so long. So it's like, this has all been unlocked because of everything that is happening here. Because I was, I was getting feisty for a while. I'm like, I was just aggressive and I had anger towards me. And I'm like, I, I hated my former partner. I was angry at people in my life. I was blaming everybody for stuff. I was snapping at people. I don't know if you guys have noticed a shift, but I feel it. Like, I feel like a brand new me. And it's because of all the work that we're doing on here. But I don't want to take away from Richard because he's got some, some new technology he's working with. Um, so, yeah, like, please, so, if you connect with people, here, connect with people, I have a spreadsheet. I can add everybody to the Google Doc. You guys can put your own contact information in there. Email me, and I'll add you to the Google spreadsheet you can have access to everybody's contact information that's on these calls. It's okay. We want to connect with one another. It's our human birthright. So that's what we're doing is we're just adding the information on there so I can help connect you. Just reach out through email. I'll get you on the spreadsheet. Thank you so, so, so much. Richard, please continue. Thank you. <laughs> okay. I'll, I'll, I do want to say this, the change that I've seen, I've only been on a couple of calls and since I last saw you, which was only last week, okay? And then prior to that, when you were still up in, on North Vancouver, and then you made the change to come out here, mm -hmm. um, your vibration is just so much higher now. And I've been listening and watching you, you know, even tonight, I just, wow, you are great. Okay, and it's, there's a big shift that is taking place. And so, you know, when we're looking at health and wellness, we cannot just address the physical uh, side of things. There's, you know, we're spirit, we're soul, we're mind, we're emotion, and then we're body, right? But our bodies kind of, um, you know, we become that from a cellular expression, you know, maybe a frown on the face or a smile on the face, you know, that can make all the difference because then we start reflecting truly who we are. And that's always at every level, it's an inside job, right? So it all begins. And then of course is where we feed, okay? So from our thinking, what are we thinking about? What are we enjoying? And, and you know, when we allow a lot of the toxic things to kind of come in, it becomes us because everything is energy, it's frequency, vibration. So if we're consuming at every level, low vibration stuff, it will form us too and pull us down. So let's just vibrate at a higher and higher level and just break, you know, continue to make breakthroughs. And that's what I feel with the ideas that are being shared 
everybody is sharing breakthroughs and what they have been part of. And that's great because now we can contribute. And in these calls, once again, you know, it becomes about everybody. And this is how we are going to shift the world. And to me, this is the most important thing. And when we form this great mindset of different people, we can, you know, just with the intention that we are going to change the world. I see this happening. And so by being here, I, I can feel the vibration just changing just from this little group here. And who knows where that's all going to take. But I'll, I'll expand back to kind of some of the areas here. And, you know, um, I've had back probably the fall last year, um, I, was, I woke up one day and something told me, you are going to um, reach some new heights. You're going to be involved with some greater things even from where I've been at. And I don't know where that, that goes, but I just think, okay, well, let's see what that's all going to mean. But I really feel that that's been happening since probably September last year. And I'm just like, wow, I get so excited about this journey and wanting to take it to other people. So once again, thank you for sharing this platform uh, with me. Um, so one of the things you were sharing was that um, the, the amino acids there. Um, so just give you one example. I read the information on it and I decided to order. That was last November. And <clears throat> So from a nutritional side, we know that every cell in your body is a combination of amino acids, proteins, essentially. So these um, perfect aminos, there are the eight essential amino acids, and then the body can convert them to the additional 22. So uh, the doctor who put this formula together, um, He's like in his 70s doing marathons, triathlons, whatever, fairly highly active in sports and so on. And when he shared some of that information, I said, okay, uh, I'm going to try it. And like I always tell people, you know, I was born in New Guinea down by Australia and I'm my own guinea pig. I'm going to start <laughs> finding out for myself. I will prove to me so that I know, because I'm not about sales, okay? I'm about sharing. Right? I'm not about, you know, blah, 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 here, this the latest, greatest things in sliced bread type of thing. I want to know what I share. I want to know it's going to work and that's the highest probability to contribute to people. So just this particular product, and I, I recommend everybody look into it, okay? So November, I start taking it. By the end of December, I feel my muscle structure in my body changing. And this is without, like, going to the gym, you know, I'm active every day, I'm lifting, I'm moving, I'm doing things, I'm on my feet, you know, and, but I started to notice my, my muscles getting more and more, and now I've been on it, so since uh, November, about seven months or so, eight months, and I'm not kidding you, my whole body from a muscle area is changing, but my skin, my hair, my everything is changing, because again, you know, Every cell in your body is built of protein, amino acid combination. So I highly recommend if you want to change your physical body, give it a shot. Give it a 90 to 120 day journey. You are going, I believe you also will experience what I'm experiencing, right? And so, you know, I started my journey when I was 20. I turned 69 in April, but really, I feel like I'm like in my 40s and younger, okay? I feel more and more, my vitality, I have no aches and pains. I can mm -hmm. still physically do uh, hard things that a lot of people, uh, you know, could not do. And I just feel that just getting better and better all the time. So it's, this is part of an anti-aging, reverse aging formula. I really believe that. You know, and it'll be great to see other people participating and saying in six months, wow, that's so, and, it, and it's simple because there's a lot of products being sold and, it, you know, once again, it's marketing and, and so on. But this to me truly helps. So when you were sharing a little bit about you using it not only and maybe noticing some slight changes already, wait another 
two, three months, okay? It's gonna yeah. change because even, even our brain cells, what are they made of? Proteins. So yeah. this can help us in our thinking, okay? Um, and it just become a better machine, if you wanna call it, a better being, right? Because that's what it is, we're, you know, human beings and then which allow us to do things. So if we can think better, be more stable, um, you know, mentally, physically, emotionally, at all through all the different levels, what a difference can we make, right? And we know that with this whole scenario that they're pushing on us, it's about poisoning and killing us. And, and you know, they've literally, they've hijacked our minds, mutilated, and then terrorized us Richard. with all this stuff. Richard, uh -huh. we're still recording. Let's just, yeah, let's okay. just... Okay, no, sorry, sorry. <laughs> okay, all right, won't, won't go there. But <laughs> well, to, to, to shift gears, Richard, I mean, you're right. I mean, pro proteins are made of amino acids. And if you can take the entire amino acid spectrum, you are able to now build the proteins necessary for your body. And if you fuel the mitochondria, which is the energy cell of your cells, you can feel like a new person no matter what age you're on. So, yeah, I appreciate where you're coming from with this. Yeah, so for me, I, I see myself even becoming younger, you know, like, so I always, people ask me, what, uh, what age are you? I said, well, I'm 69 by number, but I'm actually, as most people begin to feel me, more, more like in my late 40s, maybe early 50, okay? And that's the truth. And, and I feel actually in my activities that I'm way younger now. And um, anyway, so it's... It's something there for you. And, and the other thing that Melanie was sharing about some of the products she bought, brought to me and the issues, and then I tested them. <laughs> Unique, I can instantly test everything on you. And even sometimes good things, okay, might not be there for you at the right time because your body's not able to handle it at that point in time. We have to bring some other things in balance. So very quickly, I can assess that, measure it, and I always say this, whatever can be measured can be managed. And I have the means of doing that for anyone. Um, but yes, she brought some products there, that food products, and I had the canola oil, okay? So, you know, when we don't properly digest proteins, they become, they become also inflammation. So the source and the digestibility of things and, uh, is so important. And so many people have digestive issues and when we can change the digested uh, energies and optimize on it, we'll be able to break down. But once again, it's the fuel that we put in it. So whether it's, you know, um, your proteins or even the fats, if you're using the wrong fat, such as canola, for example, or colona, uh, canola is poison. And every cell in your body is, has a membrane, and the membrane is formed from fats. So if you put the wrong fat around, your cells, then you get dysfunctional cells too. Okay, so um, make sure you uh, use good fats, essential fatty acids is what we have. And they are they are necessary. And once again, I always say to people, uh, number one thing that you should shoot for is make food your medicine, and medicine will be your food. So when I hear people uh, sharing about, you know, starting all this organic farming and all that. Wow, what a great idea. We need to just kind of restore because make food, food once again, because it is our medicine and our medicine, once again, is our food. So uh, I can say a lot on that, but I'm, I'm, I have also come across in this last little bit, uh, last couple of weeks, some amazing things. And this week I've had some, wow, amazing experiences. And I think that this can do so much for everyone and it's so easy and it's powerful in the way of anti-aging um a lady friend of mine associate and, uh, i've collaborated with over the last six years or so um she's chinese and she brought me um an example of something to try and I won't get in quite into the details of that yet, but I'll say it's been so revolutionary. I came through an experience here this afternoon just by coming on the call. I've, it's like heightened my awareness. It's like connecting me in a different way with the universe. Okay, It can break through all your levels because the number one thing that it's going to do is going to detox you at all levels, okay? Even the emotional stuff that we're holding on to from past life and whatever, we can start 
we move and we can start shedding it. It's not like the protein shedding, but <laughs> you know, we can shed the emotional stuff that we have that don't serve us well. Um, and yeah, it's it's so amazing the experience I've had in this last number of days. I'm just saying, wow, people need to know this because she, uh, I hadn't seen her for like five, well, since, yeah, basically five months. And I'm saying like, wow, you have changed. What are you doing? And she starts sharing me. And so this is a combination. This is kind of ancient stuff from China. Okay, 300 herbs in it. And um, they've been fermented. They've been, you know, put together in this, call it this ancient formula. Very, very powerful. And what it can accomplish, I'm still just learning about it. But all I can just say, my experience with it. So when I looked at her, she's been transformed in a very short while. She shared with me some pictures that, of people who've been doing it for two years. And you literally see a 10, 20 year reversal on these pictures. People that look like old, their faces like young people, right? And so part of it, you know, as we go on through this journey and we're on these projects, projects on our own, and then the projects we start to do together, um, why not do uh, make this adventure journey that we're on a powerful one that you know can we do 120 and 150 i believe we can but let's do it with quality and so i feel what uh being um re revealed to me um uh, and it needs to be shared and i'm very very happy to do so and you know, anyone wants to know a little bit more, like say, I'm still in the learning process because of the, you know, the language thing and all that. But I've had some great, great experiences. I woke up this afternoon, wow, just before the call, I, <laughs> I was blown away. Okay, how I came out of that. Um, so, you know, love to talk to about it more. But you know, also if anybody wants to ask me on it, um, anything because of my limited knowledge on that right now, all I just know it does it, it's natural, it's herbal, and it's easy to do and very, very cost effective. So we don't have to spend, you know, do the toxic stuff to accomplish the Botox and whatever, whatever, but we can actually do this in a very natural way and get there. And it's easy. And that's what I love in the beauty, you know, simple ways to make these things happen. And I'm very um, thankful for what comes down the pipeline to me and what is being shared. And, you know, even the ideas with you guys, you know, everyone that's contributing here, it's just awesome to listen to everyone bringing their stuff here tonight. And um, so I'm looking forward to being able to uh, be with you guys, you know, and listen. And if I can contribute, I certainly would like to contribute. So. Um, yeah, but it all begins now. It's a time to detox. Oh, and what the stuff that I got to know about this, I really believe that the impact, the possible impact of protein spiking or spike proteins. This Richard, will... we, we can't go into oh. that topic tonight. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Sorry, uh, sorry. Yes, yes. Your, your content is excellent so far. I mean, this is part of basic, very good nutrition, which most people don't know. And it's incredible how certain products can really make a shift and feel a difference very quickly. So you're definitely on to something. I mean, my wife and I had to go through this process ourselves. And uh, really, when you give the body the tools it needs to repair itself, the miracles happen quick. And you're like, holy cow, I cannot believe this. It's like, a, it's almost like yeah. a high. So I totally get where you're coming from. And I think we should do a presentation on this specifically for your stuff. Um, I know mm. there's a lot of people tonight that want to speak like Robert and stuff like that, but I'm really okay. glad you said those things. It's fantastic. And uh, I, I agree with you. So, um, but uh, definitely okay, so we can't go you. to the topic you were going into. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Calls. <laughs> sorry about sorry, that. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, no, no, you're right. <laughs> okay. Also that like, cause it, what it is is we want to give everyone a fair chance to talk but richard we appreciate you sharing truly and also um i'm putting this on youtube so like i have to be really careful with the content that we do and by the way i'm going to record every single week so next week i have to 
admit, I'm going to be going for double numbers, and I'm sure everyone else is here too. So we want to make sure that the stuff that we're saying on here um, just fits with it because we want to make sure that our YouTube channel is safe and protected and also from protected from specific energies that could be um, monitoring it. And we want to respect you and your privacy and also and protect everyone because, you know, there's things that, like I always give a disclaimer about my, the financial background because I, even though we do share financial information on these calls, I don't, I'm not, I'm not, I don't have a securities license. So I can't sell any securities on the show or anything. But what we're gonna do is um, invite everyone else to, that hasn't spoken to go ahead. And Robert, I think we'll probably like to talk about financial. And I know there's also Sal, probably would love to hear what Robert has to say and maybe talk about stuff too. So we're gonna keep going. Robert, what we'll do is just have you text me in the box when you're finished to not be recorded. And um, thank you again for everyone being on here and for listening and, and being supportive again. Thank so, you for hosting this, Melanie. Thank you. Um, and yeah, it's my pleasure. I, I work really hard to bring people together and have them on here. And I think there's a lot of really good things that are coming from this in all areas of our life. So that's why I'm doing this. And I always just like to keep everything in the up and up and positive. And yeah, there's negative and those are for one-on-one -on -one calls and we can address all that stuff and, and, and keep it going. Robert, did you want to go ahead now? I mean, yeah, I can say a couple words. Uh, why not? So definitely, uh, you know, it's great that you have this organized and you're putting it on for people to, you know, get the exposure to other like-minded positive people. I like what Richard said about um, uh, lifting up others and uh, your own vibrations because it's going to allow others to, you know, elevate them. And yeah. you do have to also... Um, realize you know on a scale of one to ten what is your level of vibration right so i'm always working on increasing that and be careful of who you allow into your inner circle if you're going to buy into somebody's opinion you're buying their lifestyle so you know don't let others hold you back down because some people are at a low vibration and what will happen is you'll find that for those kinds of individuals you you typically have uh, you know, it's easier to drag others down than it is to lift yourself up. So you can't just um, take it personally. You just have to realize that sometimes you do have to cut off certain people. But I wouldn't say like someone that is close to your level, even if you're, it's okay to help others to elevate them. But if you try your best and they're not receptive or open to receiving your guidance or your help to, you know, grow, I have this saying, you're either growing or you're dying. It's one or the other. There's no middle ground. Is that right, it, Patrice? It's absolutely up to them. And once you go through the journey yourself, you start to understand if you can't, if the seed is not planted or it won't grow, you just need to move on. It's nothing personal. It's just they're not ready for it. And there's something for everybody in this world. And those that are seekers wake up and the ones that are awake vibrate on the same frequency they have the same thought patterns they think the same way and they have the same awareness it really is unifying and it's really cool but those that you try to share wisdom you'll probably notice that you try you say a few things and it just goes over their head or they just go off tangent they're just not ready for it that's it it's just it's not their time and, and i've tried uh, you know sometimes repeating again and again and again to the point where some of my friends are like why are you still trying but because you know i don't like to give up on anyone i i like to see the full potential in everybody uh because i'm capable of seeing it sometimes more than they see it for themselves and the sad part is when i want success for somebody more than they want it for themselves that's very common right so we all can nod our head here know someone that you know they can think of in their lives right and Actually, I can think of it as me as a part of my life in my younger days. I was that person, and then I transcended into a different person. Wow. Yeah, yeah absolutely. I think most of us go through this. So, so that's something that you should share in the future for sure, like you know, how to become open-minded because the brain is like a parachute. It only works in when it's open. Absolutely. 
Speaking of being frame being open, one point I want to make is everybody here needs to download the Telegram app. First of all, it's more secure than WhatsApp. And second of all, it's a way for us all to be connected and to communicate on a regular basis, get each other's phone numbers. Plus, I have the spreadsheet because um, I'll add you all to the spreadsheet so you have access to everyone's email, phone number, all of that good stuff. Telegram chat is where it's at. Telegram, everyone's using Telegram. Even Trevor Best, who I've known for 20 years, who hasn't used Telegram since it was first out, came on Telegram today. He's like, I don't know why I never use this sooner. Everybody I know is on here. So everyone's mitigating to Telegram because it is quite secure um, and it's a good way for us to communicate. So for the record, there is no security on WhatsApp because it collects absolutely every keystroke you put on there and is sold to the highest bidder for those who know. Yeah, so yeah. let's just use Telegram moving forward because I think as we evolve and as this becomes more popular and we become a larger entity, we're just gonna make sure that we keep monitoring the content and keep it up on the up and up. And um, I don't like to talk about politics or COVID. Religion. Yeah, or religion just because yeah, just because. <laughs> so moving on, just because. Um, we they need their specific forum, not for this. This is really yeah. uniting people, not belief systems. Yeah, yeah. So, and there's other shows for that stuff, and we want to we want to like also make this a referral program too, so that people are getting supported in business and in life, and getting connected with people that can help them in all walks of life. Um, so health and wellness, finances. Um, real estate, um, getting involved in projects that they might want to invest in together and, and say there's 10 people that want to live on a farm and each one of those people want to buy a house on the farm and have access to those fruits and vegetables. That option is there too. So it's for like-minded individuals and I think we're all pretty much, everybody that was on the call today was a really, really good group. You know, thank you so much again for everyone. Um, Jillian, if you have anything that you'd like to say to us, I know you've been very polite and haven't um, put your hand up to speak, um, but you're welcome to talk anytime to us. And also Sal, Stephen, Victor, I know you guys are, you know, you're on, you're listening and you're amazing people, but I know, you know, sometimes you guys are just busy working on other projects behind the scenes. So we respect that. But if anyone wants to share, please put their hand up. If you don't have to share, you can just listen and it's okay too. Um, I'm definitely, believe it or not, I'm actually an introvert. I'm not an extrovert. I'm more introvert than extrovert. I did the test and I'm 60% introvert, 40% extrovert, if you can't believe it. I'm a deep thinker. And um, yeah, it's just, we all have different things, but I, I come on to open up on here for you so that I can give other people um, a warm platform where they feel open enough to share and so that they can feel like this is an environment where we want to um, connect with like-minded people and, and encourage people to share, right? So not force, but rather just encourage. So anyone else want to open up? I think what I'll do is I'm going to stop the recording and please put your names in the chat, hands up names in chat. And if not, we'll just wrap it up. I'm just going to stop the recording because this is the time where